It's incredible. Like nothing humanity has ever seen. Vampires are completely destroying the city. News crews have been barred from entering the hot zone, so we're limited in what we can show you. What is obvious is that the city's functioning capabilities are dead. We have reports that citizens left behind are rioting in the streets. This entire city has become a battlefield. We are witnessing with our own eyes a sacred war between humans and vampires. seems to be true, which is a little unsettling. It is. How many? Too many. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. Stay here and guard the Lord Dragon. Did you even hear what I just said to you? You're going nowhere! My strengths are better suited to this than yours are. While you may possess the power that rivals that of a source blood, now is not the time to deviate from our plan. <laughs> Lord Dragon, open the barrier. You insolent bastard! Do you have any idea who you're talking to? It's fine. But Lord Dragon... Jiro, if you kill them, it will not save you from your grief. Very well, then. You have my thanks. Lord Dragon! Kane, please. I would expect you to empathize with the sorrow of losing what you strive to protect. Troublesome. Once you get worked up, there's practically no way to hold you back. I said stop it! <laughs> Long time no see. I hope you've been doing well. But from the looks of you, that's not the case. You bitch. You bitch. You bitch, you bitch, you bitch! Oh, <laughs> come on. You can't say my name. It's been a long time since I've teased you. 
You know, it's kind of yeah. funny. When she first chose you to be her guardian, I thought it was foolish. I guess I was right. <laughs> But you know it's even funnier? In the vast expanse of time since we last saw each other, I've learned that I've never been happier than in the days I spent with the two of you. Amazing, isn't it? I cherish that time in my life so very much. Both then and now. Then why did you betray us? Why? Times change, Jiro. She said it herself, remember? Just accept it. Shut your mouth! That was unreal, Jiro. Hmm, you gave me the chills. But alas, we'll have to stop here. I would have enjoyed introducing you to my new family, but that will have to wait for another time. Your family? That's right. Ugh. Oh, I know you hate the Kulan children, but I think they're just so cute. Stop talking! That was careless. So long, Jiro. Casa, wait! No need to bother missing me now, because today is only the beginning of the whole thing. Both ceaseless lamentation and overflowing jubilation. It's all laid out before us. Casa! Tired yet? No, but I'm getting there. Well, we're almost there. Yep. Looks like we'll be in Yokohama by sunup. I guess I'll leave the bridge to you. Sure. Get some rest. Right. Remember, we're stowaways, not guests.
but who are you? Chan. Nice to meet you, Chan. I'm Kataro Machizuki. Ah, I forgot. It's supposed to be a secret that I'm traveling on this ship. Hmm? Uh, so, would you mind not telling anyone? Sure. Thanks a lot, Chan. And in return, I'll, I'll let you look at the picture I drew. <laughs> what? Uh, Chan? Chan? Good morning to you, gentlemen. I trust that everyone is doing splendidly today. Hi, brother! <laughs> oh, Kataro! Good morning to you. Gorgeous night, don't you think? Yeah! <laughs> Incidentally, I was curious as to what you were doing up here. Uh, oh yeah, that. Your brother... <laughs> was firm when he told you to be good and stay asleep until we arrive. I only hope you didn't wander around the ship and get into any more trouble than you already are. Like what, brother? Like marking up any surface you please with graffiti. Whoa, how'd you know that? I guess since this is a Chinese ship, I should have drawn a panda bear instead. <laughs> That's hardly the point. I'm really sorry. Tell me, why do you always have to do dumb things like this? You're such a pain. That was me tricking me into thinking that you weren't mad at me. I don't want to hear it. You're the one who couldn't just do what he was told. And now you turn around and blame your brother? It's disgraceful. Fine. <laughs> Good grief, brother. Pardon me, gentlemen. I'm sorry you had to witness that. Please do your best not to mind us. And now, since we've been able to set aside this private matter, perhaps someone can tell me what this fight is about. See, while I don't understand your reasons, I take it the ship itself was not part of the conflict. So all the noise wasn't appreciated. Just who the hell do you think you are? If you wish to ask my name, I suggest that you start by introducing yourself first. Or have such simple courtesies been surrendered to the will of disrespect during my absence from Japan? Hm. All right, then. 
We're the suppression team from the company. The company? Certainly you must be referring to the Order Coffin Company from the Special Zone. Yeah. Hmm, that's quite odd. I was under the impression it's an organization serving as an intermediary between the humans and us. Ostensibly, yes. Oh? But this is how they operate behind the scenes. They seek out our brethren only to murder us indiscriminately. They're nothing but homicidal maniacs. Homicidal? I assure you we don't go around killing humans. <sighs> you bastard! Allow me to set you straight on one more point. Word is out there that the Special Zone is considered as some kind of a haven for you six suckers, which is a very misguided perception. The city that we guard is not a lawless district that we've let the monsters rule. Its carefully maintained location and strict order is active 24-7. Illegal immigrants from some unknown bloodline would never be allowed inside. However, if you have a valid referral from an affiliate house, then you don't have any worries. The Special Zone will accept you. But if you do not, it doesn't matter if you're an old blood with hundreds of years under your belt. We'll show you no mercy. That's the reality for a black blood. Reality for a black blood. Ah, I've been hearing that this is what they've been calling vampires these days. And it's true, my little brother and I are in fact vampires. This is quite a conundrum. I have associates in the special zone, but I'm afraid I'm unfamiliar with this concept of affiliate houses. <laughs> Really? That's too bad for you. I don't think so. Give it back up, all of you! Are you serious? Do you even know who that guy is? It doesn't uh, matter who he is, damn it! What matters is that with him we can win! Or have you given up on the special zone? No matter how many times I explain, you just don't understand. What kind of power is that? Yes, sir, but thankfully he wasn't bitten by a Kulon child. What headquarters say? They said they'll handle it. But you might want to strap in for a big slap on the wrists. First you open fire big time on a ship and the whole thing explodes. Not something you can just cover up that easily. That's the intelligence department's problem. As soon as we're back at base, I want everyone suited up with anti-old blood equipment. We've got a 0% chance of rain tomorrow, and a full moon on the docket for tomorrow night. We've got to settle this thing by sundown no matter what the costs. What's bothering you, Wong? That guy. It's obvious that he was one of the old blood, but there was something unusual about him. With the right motivation, maybe he could have been our ally. Right. Miss Wong! <laughs> I'm begging you. Please give her your blood. She's dying. If she becomes a vampire like you, she can be free of death, right? Thank you. Thank you. You've saved my little girl. I will never forget this. It's just a little change of plans, that's all. By tomorrow, well, the day after tomorrow, we'll be arriving in the special zone. We will? Yes, of course we will. All right. Um, I'm hungry again. It's amazing. John, you're such a little glutton.
Hello? This is Katsuragi. Mimiko, it's Janai. Hey, Chief. What's got you calling me this early in the morning? <sighs> what? Now? Wait, I can't hear you. You're breaking up. Chief, where are you calling me from? Amazing how quickly time passes. It's been ten years since you came here with Kataro. He was just a baby then. <laughs> This entire decade, I have never forgotten the debt of gratitude I owe both you and the princess. Truly, I owe you everything. We have a few more years before Kataro emerges. You two should stay here until then. It makes more sense. I'm sorry, Crow, but we've been over this already. Listen to me, Jiro. I'm worried about you, both of you. Here, the princess and I can help you, but out there... Well, out there is a different story. It's the destiny of my bloodline. If I wait until Kataro emerges, it will be too late. I want him to know the outside world before it's out of reach for him. His only thought shouldn't be that of unnatural things in the darkness of night. Wait up, Grand Duke Bellwell! <laughs> Hi, Princess! What are you doing? That's for me? This is really nice of you. Did you knit this whole thing yourself? Don't bother. This whole thing will get covered in snow out here. Please, your highness, there's no need to be so sad. When I'm in this special zone, I'll write to you all the time. again for the scarf. It means so much to me. And every time I wear it, I'll think of you, your highness. I always knew you were pretty amazing, princess. But I had no idea you could knit. Was it a hard thing for you to do? This is now my most prized possession. I'll just wipe it off. See? Well, Crow, it looks like Ataro is up to no good again. Oh, give me a break. Nice to be young and having fun. I have next to zero for my vacation time. My salary hardly makes it worth my while in the first place. That whole business with a phone call this morning was a bunch of crap. Calling a girl before dawn, ordering her out of bed. Just get up, go down to the beach, and investigate. What the hell is that? <gasps> is that it? What's that? That's a person? Uh, uh. Go grab your phone. We gotta call an ambulance. Right. Hey, dude, you okay? Can you stand? Cut! Excellent, guys! Just great! <laughs> I've never seen a performance like that! <laughs> Just masterful! And the makeup, wow! <laughs> and let's see here. Looks like you live to see another scene, kid. Now, let's get you on to the next set. Up and at them. They've got crew and extras ready and waiting. You're a vampire, right? I'm aware that you don't know me. But just trust me on this. I came here to help you. Any place out of the sun. <laughs> Leave it to me. <laughs> you kids and your...
your method acting. <laughs> what just happened? I have You're no idea. Have we gotten any word from Johan? Not yet. Then our hands are tied. Just stick to the plan for now. The rest is in your hands, Master Strategist. It's what I do best, sis. like to thank you for your assistance. Without you, we would have... Oh, that's the biggest load of crap! I mean... You have a name? It's Jiro Machizuki. Jiro's a pretty common name. Should be an easy one to remember. Then please make sure that you do. I already have. So the little one there next to you, that's Kataro, right? As I said, our situation happens to be grave and is of no fault of our own. To all appearances, we have simply been caught up in the chaos created by your esteemed colleagues. We brothers are victims here, nothing more. Don't you think I know that? For ruining your voyage as a representative of the company, I would like to offer our apologies. We are very, very, very sorry. That's the biggest load of crap. And you are... Mimiko Katsuragi! Oh yes, Mimiko. What a very unusual <laughs> name. It's rather funny sounding when you hear it. Just do me a favor and don't forget it. You don't want to tick me off. Oh, don't worry. I remember it already. <sighs> Great, we agree. Now, since I know that you and the kid are traveling to the special zone, the least I can do is offer you guidance. I'll show you the way myself. How's that sound? Is it at that point that you'll hand my companion and I over to the suppression team? <sighs> Mr. Machizuki. Yes? Let me take a moment to make myself clear. Okay, I'm listening. While I'm part of the same company as those you met earlier, I'm a compromiser. I act as more of a mediator than anything. In our line of work, the subject always given top priority is the continuing peaceful coexistence between black bloods like you and red bloods like us. You call yourselves red bloods? Oh, right. You probably don't know any of this, huh? In order to be clear when we talk of our two races, we call your kind black bloods and we call our kind red bloods. It shows equality between two races of sentient beings. That we're equal as living creatures. Hmm. It's just two minutes and seven seconds. Geoffrey, go ahead. It's nothing personal, pal. How long are we gonna keep doing this? Who knows, it's just one of those things we have to do in order to survive. And remember, if you slack off, I'm telling Sis. Here, this is next. Yeah, don't worry, I'm on it. Good boy. No! So we've got red bloods and black bloods. Are we sure there's nothing else? Good morning, Kataro. <laughs> oh, hey, brother. Good morning. How are you feeling today? I feel kind of salty. It's gross. Looks like you didn't fall apart, though. I remember now. I was on the ship, and then I... You must have jumped in and saved me. I sure did. Thank you, brother. I always knew I could count on you. Hmm. And figures. He's a lot nicer to him than he is to me. So, brother, uh, who's that... that girl? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Mimiko Katsuragi. It's nice to meet you. Mimiko? That name's kind of weird. Yeah, it's different. I get that a lot. Now, I know you feel salty from the water, but you can at least get the taste out of your mouth with a few bites from this. 
I can have this? Are you serious? <laughs> Thank you so much. She's really nice, brother. So, Mimi, what are you doing here with us anyway? Actually... She's our guide. It's her job to escort us to the special zone. We place ourselves in your care. She's really our guide? <laughs> it won't be a long trip, but we'll have lots of fun. Noticing how different you two are for being brothers. We may look and act different, but we're brothers for sure. And outside of that, we've got no one. We're the only ones in our bloodline. You shouldn't speak too much of our family, Kataro. What my younger brother here is saying is true. We are brothers, but while he can handle the sun and flowing water, this obviously doesn't happen to be the case with me. And that's all there is to it. I hope that's satisfactory for you. Mm, sorry I noticed. Now, Katara. Okay, right. That's it. That's the special zone. <laughs> it sure is. We just cross that bridge and we're there. Is something wrong? How thoughtless of me. What? There's a barrier surrounding the zone. Wait, what are you talking about? They don't have anything like that here. It is a barrier that cannot be felt by humans. Most vampires would find that they have no reaction to it either. The barrier only serves one purpose. And that is? To keep specific bloodlines from entering without an invitation. <sighs> yes, ten years ago, during the Kulon Shock, this method was developed to establish defensive lines and enclosed camps. Wait a second, but that means... It's not what you think. Neither my brother nor I are Kulon children. Fine then, what are you? You may not see it, but I am in fact descended from a noble line of vampires, and I always adhere strictly to their traditions. <laughs> Kataro, come over here, please. What? Come over here. But, brother... Just do it. <laughs> so what is it? Mimiko's job as our guide has come to an end. Aww. That was the arrangement from the start, now you know that. Mimiko, I'd like to thank you for your hospitality. <sighs> this young lady has been nothing but good to us. If you lay a hand on her, I won't just stand by and watch. I think you're aware I'm not interested in the girl. Our objective is you. <gasps> Sorry for the trouble we put you through last night. Target has made contact. Roger that. My name is Kelly Wong, and I need your help to get into the special zone. You see, unfortunately, my knowledge of which bloodline I belong to is minimal at best. Shortly after I was transformed, my parents died in the Kulon shock, taking with them any information about my past. One of the so-called broken bloodlines. So I take it you were born in Hong Kong? Basically. And I overheard your conversation. If you're parting ways here with the company, it works out for all of us. I was hoping you would join forces with us. Uh, join forces with you? You're kidding me! <laughs> well, aren't you clingy? The man just said he was leaving you here and you can't let go. But I'm a compromiser! I can't just abandon a job before it's been completed! <laughs> then you're invited to come along too. Well, I don't know... Hey, brother, you're pretty popular, you know that? Trust me, Kataro, that's not always a good thing. But at the very least, you can write to Crow and brag about it. Now, if I did that, he'd never let me hear the end of it. Y 
You've been listening, so I assume you know. I'm, to my regret, suspected of being one of the Kulan children you see. And to invite one of that bloodline into your group... It doesn't matter what bloodline you belong to. We'll accept you, even if you are a Kulan child. Let me make myself clear. What I did last night was not meant to benefit you. I understand. You reacted logically based on your knowledge of the situation. What we need from you is your power. And in exchange, we can provide you with something that you need but don't have. Just what exactly would that be? Friendship, of course. A whole bunch of new friends. What do you think? Should we join up with the lady and her group of people? There's a young girl traveling in our group that's about the same age as you are. I'm sure the two of you will be good friends. Uh, but I... It's settled. Now then, let's get out of here. The first thing we'll do is meet up with the others. Whoa, wait a minute. I wasn't sure at first, but I think this guy's the kin killer. Is that true? Fantastic! I heard every story there was about you when I was a mercenary. I couldn't imagine a better ally. This is great! Get down! Whoa! Are you okay? I never thought they'd go so far as to attack us in broad daylight. It looks like the company is feeling rather bold. Wait! I didn't do this! Don't worry, I know. I may not look it, but I'm a hundred years old. I've learned a lot along the way. A hundred years old? That makes you an old blood, right? <laughs> to be honest, I knew they'd try to make this kind of move. They really had no choice but to set up an ambush somewhere along the way. I figured it would be easier to negotiate with you around rather than not. Kataro. What is it? Listen carefully. Because I had to save you in the ocean, I've drained all of my energy. So I'm too weak to break down their lines and carry you. I'm going to play decoy and try to draw them away from you. Which means that you'll have to get past them on your own. Do you think you can do that? I guess I could try. <laughs> I'll go with him. But Mimiko... I appreciate the offer. But I'd prefer not to rely on your sympathy. That wasn't exactly why I offered. At any rate, we'll be on our way here very shortly. You can explain the situation to the suppression team when they arrive. Aww. You mean we're gonna have to say goodbye to Mimi anyway? Yes, now let it go. You have to get out of here. If you don't escape ah! soon, they'll catch Ow! you. Taro. What is it now, brother? You take care of yourself out there. <laughs> you got it. See you later. <gasps> is this the right move? I don't know.
I am so sorry. You've been very kind to me, but... You don't have to say anything. And you don't need to be sorry, Alice. What's done is done. I'm happy being with you. <laughs> Chiro. Stop on by for a delicious pork bun. Wow, those look yummy! No, if I get sidetracked, brother will get mad and punish me again! Hey, I'm glad to see you managed to make it out alive. Whoa, hey, is she gonna be all right? She'll be fine. More importantly, what happened to your brother and that company woman? We split up so we wouldn't get caught, and now I have no idea where my brother and Mimi are. So you're alone? Mm-hmm. <laughs> It'd be best if you came with us. We're about to head to our hideout to meet up with our group. Really? Oh, but I have to keep looking for my brother. Come with us and we'll help you. You shouldn't be wandering around alone. You'll help? It appears that Wong here has grown awfully fond of your brother, little man. I must say my interest has been piqued, too, in your brother. As well as you. And me? Kataro! Mimi Ko! Would it be at all possible for me to come along? Sure, but you'll be treated as a prisoner. I understand. I promise I won't cause you any problems. I guess it's settled <laughs> then. I'll lead the way back to our hideout. Follow me, it won't take long. <laughs> Wake up! Ah! What the hell's the matter with you? You know, your treatment of prisoners leaves much to be desired. How dare you disrupt my sleep, and for the second day in a row... Shut up! You're lucky I'm letting you sleep at all! The sun hasn't even set. It's only natural for a vampire to sleep during daylight hours. You don't understand the weight of your situation. And I'm getting tired of your attitude. Sorry my confidence threatens you, but I can't help but be myself, and I don't intend to change just for you. So do what you must, but do it quickly. <laughs> Let me get this straight. You honestly expect me to believe you know nothing about those refugees we encountered on the ship? I didn't know them. I have no reason to lie to you. Yeah? Then why don't you tell me the truth about who you really are? Enough with that already. I told you I'm one of the last survivors of a severed bloodline. My only blood relation is my brother. And I bet you'd like to know where your brother is. I'm warning you. If my brother is harmed in any way, I will be able to detect it even if we are separated by a great distance. So don't you dare lay a hand on him. Yeah? That a threat? Not a threat. A promise. <clears throat> I think you should be more worried about what those refugees will do to your little brother. Our intelligence says he met up with them in the city earlier, and that the Compromiser's with them as well. Mimiko's with him? Why is she there? I don't know. Mediation department's always interfering. Bastards. And I assume you know where they are now? They're in Chinatown. We're about to move in. You idiot! Escalating this conflict will only serve to make things worse. <sighs> We have reason to believe that there's a Kulon child among the refugees. That can't be. We haven't been able to determine which of them are Kulon children yet. And because of this, we have no choice but to wipe them out completely. We can't leave any of them alive. It's time. Move out. Yes, sir. Wait! Let me come with you. 
I assure you we can solve this problem without your help. But if you miss even one of them, they'll continue to multiply! The battle could very quickly grow beyond your capabilities! We'll handle it! That was quite a stunt you pulled. What are you talking about? This afternoon in the park. I bet keeping a lid on that commotion cost the company a ton of money. With nothing to show for it. How do you plan on explaining- SHUT UP! <laughs> it's not my problem if the public becomes aware there are still vampires on the loose! It's my job to rid the earth of the plague of Kulon, children, and I'll do everything in my power to do so, no matter what the cost! <sighs> the board of directors can all go eat shit for all I care. Oh, Badrick, you're so rough. <clears throat> but what's the hurry? Shouldn't you wait for backup before you go after the Kulon? I don't have time. They've almost made it to the special zone. Remember ten years ago when vampires fought alongside humans in their effort to destroy the Kulon bloodline? Such blind heroism. <laughs> You fold this corner here, and then... See? A crane! Uh... Wow, here. that's so cool! Now it's my turn! <laughs> well, what's that, Kataro? Do you know origami too? My brother taught me how to make this. Really? Ta-da! Oh, wow! What's that? Watch! and keep an eye on her, okay? Roger! Hey, John! Wait for me! John has a new friend. They seem happy. You look better. Has your injury healed? Yeah. I had a fresh meal and now everything's back to normal. <laughs> huh. So, our friend Jiro must have been really worn out from that fight the other night. Why didn't you let him drink your blood? <gasps> well, it's just... I'm sorry. Did I embarrass you? It's just... he uses his mouth to... What's wrong with that? In return, you'd be rewarded with an exquisite pleasure. And in all honesty, sex pales in comparison. <laughs> well, be that as it may, it, it carries, you know, a psychologically addictive quality and under company policy. It's strictly forbidden for us to allow ourselves to... It's against the rules! Besides, I don't know if he's... Don't worry. He's not. <laughs> he's not a Kulan child. Do you know something you're not telling me? About Jiro? If he's who I think he is, he can't be a Kulan. He is an old blood. If you would have let him drink your blood, he could have easily escaped from that ambush earlier. Are you sure? Last night, he completely overwhelmed the suppression team. No way. The company suppression team is known as one of the most effective vampire assault units in the whole world. <laughs> You'll see soon enough. When you said earlier that you would accept Jiro even if he were a Kulan child, did you mean it? Of course I did. How could you? You're aware of how infectious the Kulan are, aren't you? Under normal circumstances, humans will not turn unless we drink the blood of a vampire. But the Kulan can turn humans just by sucking their blood. They can even convert other vampires to their bloodline. If we allow them to exist unchecked, it could spell disaster. Back in my country, there's no place left for broken bloodlines. It's a wretched existence. This hasn't been an easy journey. We've already lost two from our group with no explanation as to where they went or why. As if they had anywhere to go anyway. Just as humans fear and persecute vampires, vampires also fear and persecute the Kulan children. We're all forsaken. The differences between our races are inconsequential. No, you're wrong! Excuse me? It's been ten years since the Kulan shock. If even one of them had survived the purge, then at least half the world's population should be of their bloodline by now. But that's not the case. And why do you suppose that is? I don't know. 
It's because the Kulan kill the people they feed on. <gasps> they callously take the lives of those who they've converted over to their bloodline. So no, Wong, you are nothing like them. for you. Chan? Kataro? Wanna play? Same circumstances arose one after the other, and since you don't have a cell phone, I had no way of getting in contact with you. I promise it'll never happen again. You're dead! Oh my, are you mad at me? I should have known it was a horrible idea to leave all my travel arrangements up to you. It was an unfortunate series of mishaps. I couldn't have known there would be other stowaways on board. Enough of this. Did you bring it? Oh, but of course I did. Huh? I must say that I'm a little concerned about Kotaro. Please take care of him. Ooh, now it looks like you mean business. Go get him! I'll deal with you later. But first I'll settle things with the ghost of the past. Right. Let me show you the way. Welcome back, Silverblade. Could I ask you something? Sure. I want to know why you decided to come with us. Well, I guess... I'm still new at this, to tell you the truth. But I wanted to see this thing through to its completion. I am a compromiser, after all. Even if you may be dealing with Kulan children? If I wasn't working for the company, then I wouldn't have anywhere else to go. Because I'm an orphan. The company gave me a home. They took care of me when nobody else would, and they became my family. That's why now I want to be the one who gets to tell everyone that they'll never be alone. Because I understand. I've been there too. <laughs> oh, you don't have to cry for me! There are a lot of kids in the special zone who have lost their parents. <laughs> and are all these other orphans compromisers just like you? Like me? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> it's settled. I'd like for you to talk to the company on our behalf. But what would I say? Ask permission for us to enter the special zone. If they'll give us a place to live, I promise that we'll accept any conditions they deem necessary. We just want a place where we can live in peace. I beg you, please don't forsake us. You're the only chance we have. <laughs> You have to stop! You can't! Wait, it's the compromiser. We need to get you out of here. Hey, stop! Stop it! These people are under the care of the Department of Mediation! Cease your assault immediately! Don't listen to her! Keep firing! I swear I won't let you get away with this! This raid is nothing but a massacre! This is none of your business, Compromiser! Now get the hell out of the way before you get hurt! Your actions here today clearly break company regulations! You can't justify slaughter! I'll explain the circumstances later. Let go 
of me! Damn it! Let go! That's enough, Mimiko. You've done plenty. Miss Wong! We surrender. We have no intention of resisting you any further. So, I ask that you please spare the lives of my friends. Shoot them! <gasps> what are you doing? Shoot them! Shoot them all! No! It's the hide hand! It's just as we had suspected. You're harboring a Kulan child, aren't you? That's ridiculous! We're all from broken bloodlines! That's all the more reason why you wouldn't be able to distinguish one in your group. And no vampire from a broken bloodline would be able to master the hide hand technique. Am I wrong? I don't know. But we've been together since we left our homeland. We would have found out about it by now. We've already lost two from our group. It's because the Kulan kill the people they feed on. That it's true. But who? Who is it? Get a hold of yourself. Don't lose it now. We're so close. What happened to the bravery you showed when we left our country? Come on, Wong. Let's destroy these company scum. <laughs> Song. I just want you to know, it did make me happy earlier today when you said you'd even welcome someone of my dubious bloodline. We Kulan children are used to being hated. I guess you could say we're starved for kindness. <laughs> Open fire! You fools! <laughs> Now, let's get started. Where's Kataro? I have to find him! We can't afford to let them overtake us! We have to put them down! Guys are fighting under the control of their master. Call it liberation. <laughs> now then, I owe you my thanks, compromiser. <laughs> After all, if it wasn't for you, attack! Get him! Quite an entrance. You escaped! I don't know where Kataro is. I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. He hasn't been harmed. Now hand over my brother. <laughs> You'll have to ask nicer than that! You've succumbed to my irate so easily. You were already half dead before you even joined the fight. It's such an unfortunate mistake. I've heard a lot about you. But how pathetic! So much for the great Kin Killer! Did you call him the Kin Killer? That means he's. the Silver Blade! Wait! The Silver Blade? I will not ask you again. Give me my brother. <laughs> look, it's Kataro! And John! Oh, look! What an emotional reunion! Like hell! I guess that I underestimated our little friend here. Makes no difference! I think it's time to get this thing started! So you're running away? It's no fun here. 
Let's go elsewhere. You fool! Don't you know? That entire island is surrounded by a barrier. Kulan children aren't allowed to enter the special zone without an invitation from the company. I'm not worried. You see, I've been invited. You won't forsake us now, right, Compromiser? <gasps> You won't get away! <laughs> See you guys later. I'm bored with this. Kataro! 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 I feel fine. I don't think I'm injured, but thanks for asking. <laughs> That's good to hear. The carriage! This is a horse-drawn carriage. The horse on the right is called Gale, and I like to call the one on the left Gust. We have to stop them! Why would you want to do that? Because they're out of control! It's okay! I almost wish they could go faster. But why? Because we're running from someone. arguing with you. Why didn't you tell me? You wouldn't have believed me even if I did. Not without this. When I hold this sword, I'm devoured by the overwhelming desires it bestows on me. I thought I could overcome these urges, but I was wrong, and because of that I find myself in this disgraceful state. So please, Mimiko, I have to find my brother. I'm sworn to protect him. I'm all that he has left in this world. I can't let him down. I have to save him. You might as well give up. He won't listen to you no matter how much you try to persuade him. I'll lend you my motorbike. Maybe it will help you catch up with those guys. You know each other? We sure do. I've gone ahead and shut down the streets you'll be traveling on. You'll have the road to yourself. Mimiko, we don't have time for this. And if you do catch up with them, what will you do? You can't possibly hope to defeat them in your condition. Just think! I grew tired of your meddling. Drink my blood before you go, then. Wait a minute! You're a compromiser, right? This is strictly forbidden! So don't tell anyone! Sure thing. I might not act like it, but I am a criminal investigator. I'll let this slide. sure about this? Just do it. Well, while I appreciate your offer, I do hope you haven't forgotten 
Your company currently restricts me from entering the special zone. <coughs> you want to save Kataro, don't you? So? Hurry up and do it already! appreciate what you've done. What... what's going on? Where am I? <gasps> this was your first time being bitten, wasn't it? Huh? What are you talking about? Just take it easy. Start by trying to stand up on your own. I think... I can hear what you're thinking. That's the phenomenon known as resonance. The blood of yours that is now coursing through my body is calling out for the blood in your own. Then does that mean that you can... Mimiko. What is it? You're drooling. <laughs> Please tell me this doesn't mean that you can read my mind too! <laughs> My blood has not entered your body, so therefore, there's really no way for me to read your mind. Really? Right now, you can tell whether or not I'm lying. Can't you? Yes, I can. Don't worry, it's only temporary. The resonance will disappear over time. You've done a brave thing. I can never thank you enough. I am greatly indebted to you from this day on, Mimiko. I want to go with you on your mission. Miss Wong. You would just slow us down. Besides, they're no longer the people you once knew. I know, but I owe it to them. They're my friends. I want to see this through. You need to go with them. Who? Me? This woman here is not a Kulan child. And so, she's still under the purview of the Compromiser who started the negotiations. Yes, that's true. Mimiko, thank you. Just doing my job. I have no intention of apologizing at the moment, but when this is all over, you'll have my gratitude. <clears throat> so it's you, the Silverblade. I'm well aware that I'm in no position to ask you for favors, but please, help me. Well, Jiro? <clears throat> Since I am a hopeful resident of the Special Zone, I will make sure that the Kula never make it in. <clears throat> okay, if you guys are done with your powwow session, I think it's best that we get this thing started. So, Jiro, go do your thing. <clears throat> with pleasure. Quit squirming! And keep your mouth shut! Oh, right. 
maintain your balance! I'll try! I wasn't expecting you to catch up with us so quickly. Ha! I guess what they say about you is true, Silverblade. Damn! This annoying little brat's been squirming the whole time I've had him. <laughs> I only have one arm after all. I don't need this unmanageable little brat slowing me down. I think I should teach him some manners. <laughs> so, that's your name, isn't it? Yeah, surprised you remembered. It's such an honor. I'm touched, really I am. I'll forget it soon enough. <laughs> that's impossible! He's using the hide hand! You shouldn't let your emotions get the better of you. Pathetic. <laughs> That's... <laughs> ha! Now you can play together. In hell. What the hell? I was so close, damn it! What pathetic last words. <laughs> You'll never understand us. You whose bloodline transcends death will never know what we go through. True. I don't understand your hardships, but neither can you understand the destiny and curse of my bloodline. So don't assume that you do. All my life I've been surrounded by death! I eat to live, and I kill to eat! That's... the life of a Kulon child. And that is no life. You're a parasite for whom I feel no sympathy.
You were very brave through this whole ordeal, Kataro. Thanks, brother. We should go back to Chinatown. I'm sure that area is still crawling with company forces. And I bet the media is gathered there as well. What then? We've only one place to go. But Mimiko, the barrier. I can't get in. What are you talking about? Jiro Machizuki, Katara Machizuki, on behalf of the company, I invite you into the special zone. I, Mimiko Katsuragi, welcome you and sincerely hope you enjoy your stay. I see. Got it. Looks like we managed to avoid the worst possible scenario. I hope you're not getting ahead of yourself. I mean, just think of all the bad publicity this incident is sure to stir up. But he did well for us. Why not give him a little credit? Credit? <laughs> Don't fool yourself. His involvement in this matter has only resulted in greater losses for the company. But it still makes me laugh thinking of him falling in the ocean. He didn't fall into the ocean. He jumped in without hesitation to save the Lord Sage. It was impressive, really. I see. So you were there to witness the whole thing? I envy you. I wish I could have been there as well. I would have liked to have seen him drown. I win. I went out waiting for a pair, so it's three limit hands. Three limit hands? Wait a minute, Lord Dragon. Are you sure such a hand even exists? Yes. You're... you're sure? He would know. Damn! I hate losing to a little kid all the time. It's just not fair. Do you want to play poker instead? No, no, it's fine. We don't have to switch games on my account. <laughs> now, let's go again. We should invite another player to join us. Not Purple Boy, I hope. Soon, huh? all of us will play together. Indeed, say. Are you okay? I finally made it into the special zone, but there's no one here to share it with. I want to bury her in the earth of the special zone. Tomorrow, all right? Yes. By tomorrow, he'll be brimming with energy. I just can't believe John's really gone. I can't either. Kataro will never forget her, though. I'm sure of it. But he won't be depressed forever. He's really a tough kid, and he'll make it through this hardship. I'm sure you're probably right. Resonance faded away. What's that? Oh, nothing. I was just talking to myself. I was thinking you guys could stay at my house, at least for the night, if that's all right with you. How generous of you, Mimiko. No problem. But are you sure it'll be okay for an unmarried woman to have guests? Maybe not, but don't remind me. I'm kind of trying not to let that bother me right now. And on top of that, you're a virgin. <laughs> it's really quite a rarity in this day and age. And I must say that a virgin's blood is a delicacy to us vampires. Oh! Pervert! 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 Just wait! I wasn't trying to offend you. I was merely trying to convey a vampire's appreciation for virgin blood. You're Just shut your mouth and don't wait. say another word to me! Damn it! I wish I'd taken Miss Wong's submachine gun from her. But maybe, maybe I'll just throw you into the ocean, feed the fish! <laughs> Now 
Now listen, I absolutely will not stand for any more sexual harassment! Sure, no more sexual harassment. Ugh, man, you piss me off! Look, I'll give you a place to sleep. But it's gonna be on the floor! Tell me something, Mimiko. Are these normal tactics that compromisers use when dealing with their clients? You're still talking? One more word from you and you're out on the street! Huh. You don't have to worry about me, Mimiko. I promise to be a perfect gentleman. Oh, I'm not worried about it, Jiro. Because I'm sleeping with a bucket of holy water! Such an utter failure. You're better suited to be her playmate than her protector. <laughs> don't be so hard on him. Jiro's doing the best he can. So why don't you cut him some slack for once? If you say so. Morning to you, Kataro. What's going on? Don't worry about it. I just had a little accident and I don't want to talk about it. Uh... <gasps> nice, huh? We've got a great view of the river from here. Yeah. So is this still the special zone? That's right. Why do you ask? Because it looks a lot different than it did last night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. The special zone's a pretty big place. What you saw yesterday was the new yard, but now you're in the old yard. And I guess this area is what you'd call our downtown. Huh, looks like someone's moving in. I didn't know that the building across the street was residential. Soon, Mimi, I'm starved. Oh, right. Sorry about that. Let's see what we've got to eat. Do you think we should wake up Jiro for breakfast? Yeah. <laughs> I can't feel him breathing. You sure he's still alive, Kataro? He's fine. He's just sound asleep. I bet he's really tired. He didn't get to sleep any during the day yesterday. Doesn't look like he's gonna wake up. Well, I hope he does soon, because we have to find you guys a place to live today. But I thought we'd all just live here together. Don't you think that'd be a little cramped? Mm -hmm. And besides, grown-ups don't usually move in together so casually. Mm -hmm. But it's a pretty nice apartment, don't you think? Yeah. It's small, but it just makes it feel like a secret hideout or something. Thanks, I guess. Oh, no. What time is it? I have to go to work. Brother did that earlier. He doesn't get modern appliances, so he couldn't figure out how to turn it off. <laughs> I'm massively late.
You're sure about this? Has the Silver Blade really entered the Special Zone? Yes, I have no doubt. And I believe that every other powerful group within the Special Zone is currently trying to determine how best to deal with his arrival. Do you think they plan to gain him as an ally? Or perhaps... their aim is to put an end to him. Hypothetically speaking, if Silverblade and Zelman were to clash in the Special Zone, would the Suppression Team be able to gain control of the situation and put them down quietly? Impossible. The battle between a hero of the Crusade and an 800-year-old Blackblood would be devastating. I doubt that we would have any chance of stopping it once it began. They're too powerful. Then allow me to express my opinion. We, the Company, must seize control of Silverblade. We must have him, no matter what the cost. Keeping him in our custody is like harboring a bomb, Chairman. I think it's better to have him in our custody than to hand him over to the Affiliate Houses. But that's just my opinion. I'd like to hear your thoughts on the matter, as one of the human heroes. Let's just say that I've already taken action on this. <laughs> You've always been quick on the draw. I ask this merely out of personal curiosity. But what kind of man is this Silverblade? You are acquainted with him, are you not? That was a long time ago. A lot's changed since then. When I knew him, he was just an immature brat. A child, to say the least. <laughs> well then, I'll leave him to you. Chairman! Are you sure about this? I have my doubts. Janai, don't screw up. <laughs> I promise it won't hurt. It'll be the most pleasurable thing you've ever experienced. <laughs> Prepare for the ultimate physical pleasure. Don't make me chase you. What do you propose we do about the Silver Blade? I assume he'll approach the Say or Warlock House. That makes sense. They do have a history with him. They met when they were in the Crusade together in Hong Kong. So it is possible that he'll join forces with one of them. Either way, it won't be good for us if they become any more powerful than they are now. This might be a good opportunity for us to show them what the Coven is truly capable of. No doubt about it. So the hero of the Hong Kong Crusade is here. We'll need to lay down the law. As one of the leaders of this special zone. So this is where I work. Cemetery management is just our front. All right, wait here a minute and I'll see if I can find anything that will help us. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm sorry I'm so late. Looks like nobody's here. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait a minute, Miss Mimiko. Where in the world have you been? Hey, Hibari. Good morning. Don't good morning me, Mimiko. Everyone's been in an uproar all morning long because of what happened yesterday. The Chief's been trying to reach you all day. He must have called you a hundred times. What's the deal? What have you been doing all this time anyway? Oh, you know. Stuff came up. Things. Everyone went racing off to their assigned affiliate houses a couple of hours ago. You might want to think about joining them soon. Yeah. I guess I should get going. Here you go. Thanks. Sure. More importantly, Miss Mimiko, I have some top secret information that has to stay between us. Don't tell anyone. But apparently, yesterday's incident involved the famous Silverblade. Oh, right. Did you hear what I said? The Silverblade! 
the hero of the Hong Kong crusade that took place a decade ago? He's the most powerful vampire to ever side with the humans. A legendary man that everyone in our line of work surely knows about. They say the suppression team was completely helpless against him yesterday. And they said he was laughing as he wiped out a group of vampires that caused the commotion. And now, they think this Silver Blade guy may have made his way into the special zone. And to top it all off, they think that somebody who works for the company actually invited him in. Crazy. Hey, Hibari. Just calm down. Uh, and now I might end up coming face to face with him someday. What'll I do? What'll I do? What if he attacks me and wants to suck my blood? Talk about embarrassing. <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, there you are. <laughs> Mimi, call! <laughs> Wasn't he? Uh, owie, owie. That wasn't very nice of her. That's what you get for not staying here like she told you to. Miss Mimiko, is that? Don't say another word. Listen, you can't tell a soul what you just saw, okay? You understand, don't you? I'm not playing around here. Keep your mouth shut. Now I have to go out for a while to run some errands. So please, keep our little secret just between us. Mm -hmm. <sighs> ah! Big news! Big news! I have to tell oh, everyone! Man. We need to lay low for a while. At least until things calm down a bit, but who knows when that'll be. Sounds like a splendid suggestion. Let's go back to your place and catch up on our sleep. No way! My superiors could decide to come by my house to see me, and then there'd be no escape. You poured water on me this morning. And I've been walking around in the sun all day. I can't tell you how incredibly tired I am. I've got an idea! Let's do something relaxing! Huh? I've got it! Here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to find you guys a place to live. But... I wanna live with you, Mimi! No discussion! Okay, in the special zone, once you've decided where you want to live, you go introduce yourself to the head of the house that claims leadership of that territory. Those who belong to the same house live clustered together. And then those people who don't belong to any of the houses are considered to be guests of the house that controls the area in which they take residence. Firstly, we need to decide where you want to live. There are three major houses that control different areas of the special zone, and the first one the is... The mainland faction. Another is the European faction. And the final group is a coalition. Or to put it another way, there are snakes, dogs, and darkness. Does that about sum it up? How, how did you know all that? It's simply a microcosm of the world at large. Things never change, you know. And since I myself never age, I've come to understand a few things in my long life. You're so smart, brother. It's common knowledge. <clears throat> well then, you'll have to choose between the three houses you mentioned when you pick a place to live. I know you've ruled out one, right? No darkness. I see. Those from the House of Darkness who settled here show no signs of progress either. Mimiko! Are you ready to get started? As we look for a place to live, we should treat ourselves to a tour of the Special Zone. Now, let's get going. Alright! We're off to explore the Special Zone! Hey, hold on! Wait for me! Now, this isn't a field trip. Choosing your area is serious business. Okay! I mean it! May I enter now? Hello, Lord Zellman. I've come to report my findings to you. Good. I've been waiting, Sayuka. What is this, Zellman? Don't throw a fit. 
August's crew sent her over to me in an attempt to curry my favor. Please tell me that you restrained yourself. A human prepared for you by the coven? There's no telling what the company will do to you once they've caught wind of this. Don't worry, Sayuka. I've made sure to keep her alive. If you find yourself thirsting for blood, then please, summon me. After all, that's one of the reasons why I'm here to serve you, Lord Zoman. <laughs> you dare to reprimand me. You've grown annoying as of late. So... What is it you've come to report to me, Sayuka? Well, the executives of the company have entrusted the handling of Silverblade to the Mediation Department. Mediation? That's Janai, then. He was a member of the Hong Kong group. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. And I believe he fought alongside Silverblade in the Crusade. So he'll be on the company's side for sure? No. He appeared at the Marine Bank earlier today to seek a residence. Oh, the Warlock House, is it? But it appears that Kane Warlock refused to see him for some reason or another. And now Silverblade is headed towards the Old Yard. Given this information, most likely is now on his way to meet with Say. That's great. This is getting interesting. However, August Weicker's group is beginning to show signs of movement, and I'm afraid that you will be held responsible if they run amok. I don't care about that. Ignore them. But, sir... I'm over it. Does the Silverblade have a companion traveling with him? Yes. His younger brother, supposedly. I see. Then who's this I sense? Has Say grown so weak that he hasn't even noticed? Talk about pathetic. Pardon me, sir? <laughs> Your report is much appreciated. It was... nothing. I'm going out. But the sun hasn't set yet! You can't go out! A VIP who's maintained his silence for ten years has come to town. There's no way I'm gonna miss his appearance. Please! Lord Zelman, wait! Quite impressive. This is amazing! I can't believe you can buy things here! Wow, they sell pots, clothing, food, you can find anything! I wanna live here, brother! Um, Mimiko? I just don't understand why they had to have such a bad attitude about it. I mean, did they have to be that rude? Can you believe the condescending look that teller gave me? That ticked me off! So what if they're a huge bank? They can't treat people like that! Just try not to let it bother you. And I could've used a little more help. I'm doing this for you, you know. Come on now. Let's all just try to calm down a little bit. Oh, uh, would you mind paying for these? <laughs> I guess. Kataro! Get a hold of yourself! You keep jumping like that, this whole boat's gonna turn over! Sorry! As you can see, the float mart is kind of like the old yard's kitchen. You can find pretty much anything here. Can we go in there? Please? Please? <laughs> sure thing. You guys feel like grabbing some lunch? Jiro, are you affected by garlic? Don't move. I think that they have us surrounded. How'd they find us out here? Brother, are you okay? It seems that members of the darkness have come to welcome us to the special zone. Don't worry, they're not the most formidable group I've come across. We'll just try to sidestep them here and draw them away. Let's get out of here so innocent people don't get hurt. Hey, Kitaro, do you think that you can follow me? Sure thing, brother! Let's go then! attention to yourself that's not an option my only concern is getting you back onto dry land safely i'm gonna be in so much trouble <laughs> now i'll see what the silver blade's capable of <laughs> uh, 
How do I get myself into these situations? <laughs> Impressive. You managed to dodge all our bullets out on the water. I'm sure that was tiring. What's wrong? Was that too much of a workout for you? Oh, that little bit of action was a piece of cake for the legendary hero. No doubt about it. But now I've got you in my sight, so don't make a move. Or there'll be a mountain of bodies caught in the crosshairs. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Shut up, you company woman! If I wanted to, I could shoot you down right now! <laughs> you can relax. We don't plan on fighting you anymore today. However... If you decide to take up residence here in the Special Zone, well, you may be safe today, but you never know what might happen tomorrow. Is that supposed to be a threat? How about it, Silverblade? If you insist on staying in the Special Zone, why not join our proud coven? We'd certainly welcome you, if you were one of us. I've heard enough. <laughs> Kataro. <laughs> what are you doing, Jiro? You launched this sneak attack on us, and you've treated us with such rudeness. And now you ask, at gunpoint no less, that I join you. Your stupidity and ignorance will lead to your demise. At my own hands. I'll mete out your punishment. After that, maybe you'll finally wise up. What's wrong with just calling me Jiro like you always have? Well... I think you're making things too complicated, my lady. Why can't you just call me Alice? Fine. And why don't you just call me Jiro? No way. I want to be able to call you by your full name. Jiro Mochizuki? Jiro Mochizuki? Mochiti... Ah! It's Jiro Mochizuki. So what exactly does Mochizuki mean, anyway? Mochizuki. Don't be so mean. <laughs> Look. The full moon? The full moon! So your name must mean full moon, am I right? Jiro Mochizuki. Jiro Mochizuki. 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 Mochizuki! <laughs> what are you doing here, August? Be an acquaintance of yours? No way! He's a known criminal! He's a coven extremist and one of Zelman Clock's cronies. Did you say Zelman? Wait, you mean Crimsonite Zelman? What's he doing here? Well, he's the ringleader of our group, the Coven. Interesting. The Coven is a group that completely defies the company and the Special Zone's conventions. And Zelman's at the center of it all. Have you heard of him before? Yes, and I'm beginning to see. The Special Zone is home to the most unexpected people. I'll have you know, I've been appointed Zelman's right-hand man. If anything were to happen to me, he wouldn't take it up. Is that right? Uh, yes! So think twice before you kill me! Believe me, I have no desire to pick a fight with Crimson-Eyed Zelman. I'm no fool. Uh, but what about a coward like you? When you return, will you ask for an appeal? Will you ask him to avenge your honor because Silverblade mocked you? You little bastard! 
He's not strong at all, but he's bragging about how powerful his friend is. He's the bastard. Language. <laughs> I think you're right. And now I have just one question I'd like you to answer. What's that? Was this attack sanctioned by Zillman? No. August has acted on his own. Is that so? And who might you be? My name is Sayuka. I'm the personal assistant to Zelman Clock. It's an honor to meet you. My master wishes to speak with you. So please, come with me. Come on, Habari. It may be a juicy rumor, but don't you think it sounds a little too good to be true? But it is true! You see, the person acting as the Silverblade's guide is... Oh, it's Mimiko Katsuragi! Mimiko Katsuragi? Sorry, that doesn't ring a bell. I promise I'm not lying to you! She's the one! Okay, sure thing, Habari. Thank you for the heads up. Stories are the lifeblood of an information broker, after all. I just thought that I should return the favor from the other day. So I guess you could say we're even now. Well, I sympathize with the girl. Huh? This Mimiko Katsuragi? She's gonna be in for a rough time. I wouldn't want to be her right now. Your guests have arrived. You're here. I know. Humans are attracted to us vampires. I feel it in the way you stare. <laughs> it's written all over your face. Wow, you're pretty. Thanks. How are you? My name's Kataro Mochizuki. Huh. It seems that you're the only one in this bunch with any manners, little boy. That's an odd little brother you have there, Silverblade. He somehow seems different than the reincarnations of Sei. You speak as if you knew the Sage. No, unfortunately I've never met her. But then... If you live as long as I have, you tend to hear all sorts of stories. <laughs> Enjoy the cola. Yes! <laughs> you shouldn't be so tense. Staying on edge all the time will only be to your detriment. Go ahead. I didn't expect such a lowbrow reception from the Crimson-Eyed Zellman. Oh, please. Can we stop with these games? Didn't know I was playing. You're so uptight compared to your little brother. Did you not learn anything from the Sage's teachings? That's a subject that I'd rather not talk about. Surely the matter is of no concern to you, Zellman. Well, that's true enough. Let's say we... start from the beginning. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Elman Clark. He with eyes the color of blood. The last descendant of the legendary warrior Asura's bloodline. My name is Jiro Mochizuki, and I am of the Sage Eve's bloodline. Ten years ago, during the Kulan Shock, I became known as the Silver Blade. Though I have lived a hundred years, my pulse is yet shallow. So may your course go unhindered, and may our hearts both beat strongly. That was quite the formal introduction. August acted without my permission, and for that I apologize to you. I thank you. So, will you be joining forces with the company? Huh? Have you not yet heard of their plan, Compromiser? It seems that your executives want the Silver Blade all to themselves. Uh, they do? Oh. Why would Janai assign someone like her to the task without even explaining the situation? If you have no intentions of befriending anyone, then I suppose that siding with the company's a good idea. That way, you'll retain a neutral position while dealing with the various houses in power. Neutral? You must be joking. I'm sure the company already has enough problems keeping things running smoothly. Welcoming a nuisance like myself would be too much of a challenge. What do you mean? I don't think that's true, brother. I mean, 
Mimiko is really nice and she works for the company. Maybe they'll be as nice as she is. I mean, you can't assume they'll reject us without even asking. The company would only welcome us for their own gain. But you don't know that, brother. The company people need us, right? What would be so wrong about helping them with their problems? You may be right, Kataro. People's hearts often have both a hidden and an open side. And just because there is a hidden agenda, that doesn't mean that what's out in the open is meaningless. <laughs> right, right! Yes, it seems your older brother was being a little presumptuous. I hope you'll forgive me. <laughs> Unbelievable. Did you say your name was Kataro? Yeah. To be honest, I've developed quite an interest in you and your brother, Kataro. So how about it? Why don't you stay here and join forces with me? That's very nice, but you're a bad person, aren't you, Mr. Zellman? Yes, but being one of the bad guys can have its advantages. I like to fight for justice. I don't want to give that up. Evil never wins, but good always will. Is that so? Then that's too bad. But if you ever tire of the company's justice, don't hesitate to come back. You'll always be welcome. Thanks, but I don't want you to hold your breath waiting. My brother and I are vampires of justice, and I don't see us changing. <laughs> Silverblade, Kataro, and the Compromiser. I'd like to thank you for the visit. This was truly a pleasant way to stave off boredom. When next we meet, we may be enemies. But yet I look forward to seeing you again. Farewell for now. I can't believe it. He's just letting them walk out of here. August, you need to just calm down. It is yet to be determined if the Silverblade is our enemy. It seems Zelman's fangs have dulled with the passage of time. Or perhaps he's simply lost his nerve with the return of this kin killer. Damn it! I can deal with this humiliation no longer. The great August Wiker will not back down without a fight. You'll pay for what you've done to me, Silver Blade. The Master is busy right now and can't be disturbed. You'll have to try again later. Wait! What's going on? Don't worry, Mimiko. I'm sure they have reason for not meeting with us. Remember, not everything is always as it appears to be. But what are we gonna do? That was unexpected. I can't believe that the Saiyan warlock houses would both refuse to accept the Silver Blade. <laughs> I was sure they would jump at the opportunity to bring him into their fold. If they did so, they would definitely strengthen their influence. They must have a reason for rejecting him of which we are unaware. The affiliate houses have continued to show honesty and deference to us to ensure that humans will remain in the position of leadership. Even if they don't believe in what we do, they've always made a public show of supporting us. But now it seems they're keeping secrets. I will investigate the matter immediately. Please do. Mimi, what are we gonna do now? Let's just go back to my place. I'll cook you something for dinner. Yay! <laughs> hey, why'd we stop? There's something I haven't asked you yet. And what's that? Now, be honest with me. Why did you come here to the special zone? The truth, Jiro, now. And look me in the eye. Um, well, it's just that I... Ah, look at me. <sighs> and if you use the eye rate on me, I'll beat the crap out of you. I have no intention of doing that. Then answer. Well, I... Hey there! <sighs> We had just about given up on you. Where on earth have you been hiding, Jiro, darling? Do you know how long we've been waiting for you? What the...? <sighs> well, you know, I just didn't feel right inviting ourselves into this girl's apartment. That's no excuse for forcing the Lord Dragon to dine outdoors. It's fine. But... 
I haven't had a picnic in a while. It's fun. Oh, I see then. I'm happy to hear that. In that case, I'll do my best to refrain from complaining for the rest of the evening. It's quite insulting to make promises to the Lord Dragon that you're incapable of keeping. What did you just say to me?! So what is the reason for your visit to the Special Zone? I'm not obligated to answer any of your questions. Then why don't you leave? Nor am I obligated to do as you say. You're nothing but a nuisance! And why is that my problem? He's the general manager of the Marine Bank. I don't think talking to him like that's a good idea. Don't worry. Excuse me for saying so, but you've certainly reincarnated into a rather cute new form. Mm. It's good, seeing you. I never got a chance to thank you for what you did. It's in the past. Forget about it. So you're a black blood too, aren't you? And you live in that giant mansion we went to earlier today? Yes. That's awesome! And your name must be Say, am I right? That's right. Nice to meet you. My name's Kitaro. Kitaro? Yep. You don't talk much, do you, Say? I don't know why, but for some reason you remind me of the princess. She's my older sister. What? The Dark Princess of the North. That's my sister. No way! Really? Really. We have the same parents. What a surprise! But I haven't seen her in a very long time. I can't wait till we see each other again. Wow! That's amazing! I never thought I'd meet the princess's little brother! We could be best friends! I just came out of the princess's sanctuary and I really don't know much about the outside world yet. Your name's Kane, right, mister? <laughs> and you're my brother's friend, huh? I... I wouldn't say that. Kane and I are simply old acquaintances, Kitaro. He used to run out on errands all the time to fetch bread and milk for our group back in the day. The hell I did! Oh yeah? But you always took care of an assortment of chores for us, remember? You're such a fool! I did that for the Lady Sage and Cassandra! <laughs> I was merely looking after the best interest of the Lady Sage. I never did anything for you. Um, excuse me, may I say something? Yes, what is it? Earlier this afternoon, I took these two by the Marine Bank into Say's residence. They wanted to gain acceptance to one of the houses. But in both cases... Jiro, I... Lord Dragon, allow me to explain it to them. The real reason they refused to grant you an interview today is because I ordered them not to. At the moment, I'm afraid we cannot welcome the Silver Blade into our house. And, furthermore, we can't allow him to stay in the Special Zone. What? Why can't he stay? You two are old friends, aren't you? Jiro fought against the Kulan children. He protected the Special Zone. I think he's earned this. I'm afraid that's neither here nor there. Wherever the Silver Blade goes, unnecessary commotions arise and follow in his wake. And there's no guarantee that the next commotion that arises around Jiro will be as easily contained as the Float Mart incident. The presence of the Silver Blade is nothing but kindling for conflict in the Special Zone. That's terrible. You can't blame him for that. He shouldn't have to leave. He has nowhere else to go. I can't believe this. You're just gonna abandon your friend? It, it's so unfair he hasn't done anything wrong. The Special Zone is not as peaceful as it appears to be. I know that you're not happy with what I've said. But you're a compromiser, so you must understand and you must respect our decision. I know. What are we gonna do? We've been turned down on all sides. It's okay. I'm sorry. There must be a way for you to stay. I hate to ask you for another favor, but... Would you mind putting us up for another night? <laughs> you want to go home? <laughs> Enough is enough! Have you not learned your lesson? <laughs> I told you, didn't I, Silver Blade, that you wouldn't get away with making a fool of me! It's made of silver. 
and all insolent newcomers, get their heads lopped off. And that's the coven's code. <laughs> I heard nothing of this code from Zelman. That's because he doesn't know anything about it. That Zelman, he doesn't care about our coven. Damn it all! Are you intoxicated or just insane? If I were you, I'd stop taking this so lightly! <laughs> about them, just fight! Can he be turning into... No, if he were, the change would be instantaneous. This kind of delay shouldn't occur. You three, tell me what you've done to him. What? What are you talking about? Damn, that's it, I'm getting out of here. Hey! Damn low lives. Come on, Silver Blade. <laughs> I don't know why I ever gave a damn what that fool Zelman thought about me. I haven't felt this excited in ages. <laughs> you give me no choice. No, Jiro, don't do it. If you stir up trouble now, you'll give everyone the excuse they've been looking for. Pardon me. I guess I was just being a little impatient. I'm not playing around, Silverblade! It's a matter of life or death! Hate to disappoint you, but we're done here. I won't kill you now, even though I have no qualms with cracking your head open. So go home to Zelman and receive your punishment. Bastard! Have it your way, but I'll make sure you acknowledge me no matter what it takes! I'll burn your ass for sure! Brother, he didn't hurt you, did he? I'm fine. <laughs> Thank goodness. But I have my suspicions. Something was different. August was like another person from when we saw him earlier at the market. Yeah, I guess he was. Well, Mimiko, what do you say we go home for the night? Sure thing. of your surroundings. But I'm always aware of what's around me. If I wasn't, then I wouldn't be very good at protecting you. That wasn't really what I was talking about. I don't know how to say this exactly. Do you think that water is strong? Water? Is it strong? I don't know. And the river? I'm not exactly sure what you're getting at. And then what about the ocean? Is it strong too? I guess you could say it possesses a certain kind of strength. But when I think of the ocean, I don't really think of it in terms of strength or weakness. <laughs> when you find yourself facing the ocean, the question of whether or not it's strong doesn't really matter anymore. Water is water no matter where it is. And it's the same with blood, Jiro. That's the nature of who we are. Our true value is not in being the water, but in that we could be the ocean. I think I get it. Good. Can you be the ocean, Jiro? I promise I'll try. <laughs> do you have to be glad about? Your apartment just exploded. I'm glad because my apartment was the only one that got damaged in the blast. I've always complained this building was too old and run down, but I guess the foundation's in pretty good shape. I'm really impressed it's still standing. What? Have you gone crazy? <laughs> Don't cry, Kataro. But I, I 
can't help it, brother. I feel bad for Mimi. You don't see Mimiko crying, do you? So there's no reason for you to cry either. We'd better go. We can't leave. If we stay, we'll be interviewed by the police, which is more trouble than it's worth. Listen to me, Jiro. We have to go to the company now. I'll report to my superiors and have them deal with this appropriately. And don't worry. Even if my boss says no, I'll find a way. You and Katara will stay here and live in this special zone. I promise, August Wiker. I will carve the ways of the Black Blood into your bones. Never expected August to engage the Silverblade in battle so quickly. Man, that was a pretty close call. If our cover's blown, we're screwed. It's a good thing I always make a point to prepare for the worst, but with the mess he's gotten into with the Silverblade, I don't think we can leave August to his own devices. I guess I'll have to ask you to take care of this. I hope you don't mind. Huh? Hey, Yoffrey. Oh no, this is not good! If Sis finds out, I... Oh, oh man! Hi. Hey, Sis, how are you? Haven't heard from you in a while. Thank you for coming. I appreciate your presence here, Miss Katsuragi. I heard about what happened to your apartment. I'm sorry for your loss, but I'm glad to see that you were not harmed. Thank you for the kind words, Chairman. Zhang, how have we been handling the media? We told them the explosion was caused by a gas leak, and said that the resident is currently on a month-long vacation in mainland Japan. Hmm. Mimiko, I'm very sorry. It all comes with the territory when you're a compromiser. Do you have anything you'd like to report to us about the incident? <laughs> I heard the Silverblade let that idiot August get away. Yes, he escaped by jumping into the canal. He should have cut that rebel fool in half. Talk about sloppy. What kind of attitude is that? What do you mean? He's not my subordinate. So what do I care? <sighs> For this outburst, we must ensure that August Weicker and the rest of his coven pay dearly. We must also take into consideration how we might prevent another from taking August's place when he's disposed of. Thanks for taking care of it. No problem. We have no intention of accepting the Silver Blade as a resident of the Special Zone. We cannot allow anyone to live here who is constantly surrounded by disorder and chaos. Well then, if that's the case, I'd be more than happy to welcome him into my house. Do you have any idea of the consequences that action would bring upon you? Of course not. I may be older than most everyone here, but that doesn't mean I can accurately predict the future. <laughs> what an interesting development. You would actually have him join you. Please enlighten us with your reasoning. What can I say? When I met him earlier today, he piqued my interest. And I must say, his little brother's quite a piece of work. I hope you get the chance to meet them. You'll be pleasantly surprised. As a former vampire hunter, I'm sure you've heard the stories of the legendary Silverblade. Hunter? Do not lay a hand on the sage's blood. Or have you forgotten the unwritten law of this land? What a scandalous accusation. I assure you, Zhang, that I have no intention of harming the Sage. Oh, 
Then please tell me why the great Crimsonite Zelman would be so interested in a stripling such as Jiro. What does it matter to you, Kane? Why do you even care? Just answer my question! Don't play dumb with me. You know the reason. Sure, he's the hero of Hong Kong, and he's of the Sage's bloodline, but I'm not interested in any of that. What impresses me is the fact that he killed the Kulong King. Sell me enough! Stop it! Control your tongue! Lord Dragon, stop! Look at what you're doing to her! Are you all right, Mimiko? Oh, yes. Hey, you can't go in there! Oh, yes, in there What's right? this kid doing here? Is that Kataro? It's fine. Let him in. Hey, Mimiko! I have terrible news! What happened? Brother went out and left me alone! He went out? Where'd he go? He said he was gonna mount an assault. He was smiling, but his eyes were scary. Oh, no. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. He really is quite interesting. Oh, damn that idiot! What's he doing? Shang, give the orders to the suppression team. Have them take care of this. I want them mobilized in under ten minutes. Yes, Chairman. Wait a minute! You're not really planning on attacking Zero, are you? Hopefully it won't come to that, but we can't take any chances. There has to be some other way! We can't afford for this thing to get out of hand and for the public to find out about the battles between the Black Bloods. And to put it bluntly, as long as it stays under the radar, we won't have to get involved. <laughs> Miss Katsuragi. There's a vampire out there trying to stir up trouble. You're a compromiser, aren't you? So mediate the situation. Jiro Machizuki is your responsibility, so go find him and try to talk him out of this fight. That's an order, Mimiko. Come on, Kataro. We have to go stop Jiro. She's a sassy one. Tell me, Janai. What is it? I hear that you're the one who decided to send that girl after the Silver Blade. Did you pick her just because she was the only one available at the time? I don't remember why I chose her. It was before the crack of dawn when I made that decision. I think I was half asleep. <laughs> you sly fox. We're not done here yet. What's that? If there are no objections, I'd like to move on to the main agenda. I thought we were only going to discuss how to deal with the Silver Blade today. Of course, handling him is a delicate issue, but there's a more immediate problem at hand. And that problem is this. Who's that? Johan Song. He tried to enter the Special Zone late last night. And he's a Kulan child. It's too late now to do anything about Yafri's overzealousness. Thought so. Then I guess we better figure out a way to rescue him somehow. Forget about him. You can't mean that! He's sure to get himself killed by Silverblade! He brought it on himself. Cold bitch. Did you say something? Nope. He may not be able to win, but he'll at least escape by the skin of his teeth. He is my little brother, after all. <laughs> 
I wish I could see the panic on Jiro's face. Is that all you care about? All right. I think I'm ready to go in. <gasps> Please tell me you're just joking. Once you go in, it won't be easy for you to get back out. Kane and Say have grown complacent during this time of peace. Just you wait. I'll give them the wake-up call they've been needing. <sighs> Pig-headed. What did you say to me? Nothing. Okay, do it. <gasps> <clears throat> I welcome you to the special zone, Miss Cassandra Jill Warlock. Hello. Jiro! This is how it works, huh? Kill anyone who crosses you? You don't have to thank me, Mimiko. You idiot! It was just a stupid apartment! This will only make your situation here worse! So why? Why did you do it? I taught them a lesson. What? What do you mean? I showed them what would happen if they decided to mess with me again. Think I got my point across? Oh, you can't do this! Not here in the special zone! If you want to stay here, you have to stop this right now! I don't think they're going to let me stay here much longer anyway. I'll make them! I promised you that! And I intend to keep my promise. I'm not even sure that we should stay here anymore. What if you had died in that explosion today? Have you considered the chain of events that would have unfolded? <sighs> Both Kane and Say would have been completely enraged. Without a doubt, August and his gang would have been turned to ash and scattered at sea. That would surely strike terror into those who were at odds with the company. And it would have further strengthened the peace in the Special Zone. All would live happily ever after. It may seem harsh, but you know I'm right. Mimiko, I'd never forgive myself if I was responsible for your death. I hate to say this after all the trouble I've put you through, but it's not right for us to stay. <laughs> I feel we must leave. For your safety. <laughs> And good evening to you, sir. I had a feeling we hadn't seen the last of you yet. <laughs> After studying our intelligence, we've come to the conclusion that arrangements were made for him to enter the Special Zone. There's someone in the Special Zone who would invite a Kulon child? If a Kulon child were to cross the barrier, would it be at all possible for us to detect it? No, sir. The barrier that I constructed does not have that capability. The barrier doesn't just keep them from entering. It would also keep them from leaving. A Kulon child that somehow makes it in would have no choice but to settle here. Selman! <laughs> Hello? No, I'm still in the meeting. Hmm? What's that? What are you trying to say? Hey, just wait. Calm down, Sayuka. What happened? drank dry today has come back to life and then John away was bitten by the man and he started going crazy he and the other three ended up killing each other and then they all turned to ash what what could have caused this to happen could it be please say it isn't that's all for today go home and get some rest yes sir just let me confirm one thing you're completely sure that it was August who drank that man's blood. Yes. There's no doubt about it. Got it. Good night. Have the suppression team switch everything over to anti coolon equipment immediately. Yes. Lord Dragon! By the will of heaven, Jiro is there. Through him, we'll live. I feel more powerful now than I ever have. Even when I was first turned. I must confess that I never felt so alive, bastard. Don't tell me you're one of them now. One of whom? Don't play dumb! In Hong Kong, I cut down more of you than I care to remember. I've seen this before, there's no mistaking it. You're one of them. 
So it is as I suspected. I see. So this is what it's like to be a Kulon child. Tell me who bit you! But I haven't been bitten by anyone. Liar. Then how? I don't care how it happened. <laughs> Mimi! Don't worry. My brother will never lose to a guy like that. I hope you're right. But I've been feeling strange lately and I don't know why. I've got a bad feeling in the pit of my stomach. <laughs> Shall we duel, Silverblade? As you know, I have a long history with Kulon children, and I vowed to never let a single one escape. It's a shame you were an excellent swordsman. It's not over! You're wrong. It is over. I drank from my own men. What did you just say? As long as this blood survives, then I will be immortal. Then I'll kill them. All. It looks like August has left me a parting gift. Oh no! Mimiko! Kotaro! Sorry I'm late. Just who are you? Pleased to meet you, Jiro Mochizuki. The Kin Killer, hero of the Crusade, and the protector of Old Blood. The brave descendant of the Sage Eve's bloodline. You're a descendant of the Kulon, right? How odd. Yes. I am, and my name is Yafari Chow. During the Crusade, I was bestowed with the Kiss of Darkness by the Kulon King's own fangs. <laughs> I can't wait to see Jiro again. For ten years, that's what she's been saying. My sister, Kasa. <laughs> Kasa. Lady Kasa, please wait. It'll be dawn in under an hour. I don't care. I need to take care of this. I'm surrounded by incompetence. If only someone had saw fit to contact me earlier, then I wouldn't be in this predicament. Surely you understand. The mistress wishes to keep you separate from this matter. <laughs> if you continue to act with such reckless abandon, the mistress will take action against you herself. <laughs> Why, that would be splendid. <laughs> I'd love to settle things with that old hag once and for all. Castle. No. <laughs> and when the time comes... I expect you to be standing there by my side. Though I won't force you if you really are opposed to it. <laughs> I can't wait to see Jiro again. 
For ten years, that's what she's been saying. My sister Kasa. What's the meaning of this? Why did you stop him from attacking Mimiko? He was your kin, and yet you cut him down dead in his tracks. It was nothing special. As you well know, it is our misfortune that everyone we bite has turned into one of us. Leaving him alive would have only caused more problems. <laughs> Jiro, hey. I only did what was in my best interest. I will not fault you for it. I am a being that feeds on human blood, so I have no problem engaging in horrendous acts to ensure my survival. Well, that's a surprise, coming from you. There are few among us who are kind enough to see it that way. It's for the same reason that I cut down those of your own kind. The Kulan children are a menace that I cannot ignore, for their existence threatens my survival. That is why I eliminate your kind. Whether you have done wrong or not, I assure you that I will finish you. I understand. I guess I should have expected as much from the Kin Killer. But I'm glad you finally left the Sanctuary. My siblings and I warmly welcome your return, Lord Silverblade. You welcome the one who hunts your kind? The Kulan children have always craved chaos. And it's been boring not having a worthy opponent. <laughs> you okay, Mimi? And where is your sister Kasa now? She's on her way here. <laughs> Damn you. Worthy opponent, my ass! I will not play games with you! It's no game, Silverblade. I've heard stories about you my entire life. I know how you fight. I know everything about you! You know, I didn't come here just to track you down for my sister. What? I've come to test my skills! Not taking me seriously! What's the matter? You can't even hold your own against someone as young as me? It's the suppression team! Disappoint me. Brother! Jiro, are you all right? Sorry, Mimiko, but this is goodbye. It's not safe for you to be with me. I don't want you to get hurt. Wait! I think we should get going, Kataro. What? But I don't want to leave! You have to at least tell the company about that guy. Sorry, but after what's happened, I have no intention of involving myself with the company. Huh? Brother, we can't go. We have to stay here at least a little longer. I really don't want to argue with you right now, Kataro. Now do as I say and come along. Brother, please! I won't discuss it any further. We need to go now. Okay, okay. I understand. That's fine. But before we go, we should have a talk with Saiyan Kane. I don't know how to say this exactly. But I don't think you can protect us on your own anymore! <sighs> I agree with him. Jiro, please stay a little longer. I'm so sorry, Mimiko. No, don't apologize to me. Just say you won't leave. There's a case of contagion in the special zone. Not only that, but the source of the contagion is a second generation Kulon child who is still at large. This is the worst possible situation. 
The company must put all of its resources toward capturing and eliminating any further outbreak. You will have our full cooperation. The fugitive vampire's name is Yafari Chow. It has only been ten years since he was turned. As long as the conditions are right, I believe the suppression team can deal with him themselves. Then why did the Silver Blade fail to finish him? I do not know. But more importantly, the fact that he managed to make it into the Special Zone suggests that he is working with someone on the inside. Excuse me, Say. What are the conditions necessary to cross the barrier into the Special Zone? It's quite simple. In order to cross the barrier, one must merely be invited. And the one inviting them must know they're a vampire. Also, there's one more requirement for entrance. And that is? The person who invites them must be a resident, and they must be human. And exactly how is residence determined? There is no formal rule. He must simply live upon this land and consider the special zone to be the place where he belongs. Then if that's the case, we have a pressing need to find this insider. It was never my intention to keep this from you, but... Yafari mentioned an old acquaintance of mine to the Silver Blade and claimed he was her brother. Cassandra Jill Warlock is her name. She was formerly a prominent figure in the Warlock House, and I was once her servant. Ten years ago, when the source of the Kulon bloodline was born, she was one of the first to become tainted by their blood. She is a traitor. Impossible. You mean she's still alive? If she is involved at all in this incident, then I'm afraid that the situation is truly turning grave. She has even been called the Second Coming of Morgan the Witch, who is the source blood and originator of our bloodline. She is incredibly skilled in the art of magic. I must confess that I have a history with this woman as well. And anyone else involved in the Crusade will definitely have some strong feelings regarding Cassandra Jill Warlock. Including... Jiro. The Silver Blade? Yes. And this boy, Yafari. Even though he is a Kulan child, I don't think he will be too much for Jiro to handle. He must have been quite unsettled at the mention of Kasa's name. That inexperienced idiot. Answer me honestly, Say. Do you think you would stand a chance against Kasa? I do. I'm relieved to hear that, Lord Dragon. The Special Zone was developed as the successor of Hong Kong. And we must now prevent it from sharing the same fate as that destroyed city no matter what it takes. Gentlemen, we must sever the Kulon bloodline as quickly as possible! Yo. Oh, it's you, Yafri. It's good to see you. Welcome back. You seem surprised I'm alive. Want something to eat? Have there been any new developments? Hmm. Why, yes. Narcissa's arrived. For real? Yeah, she was here. And she seems really enthusiastic. She couldn't wait to get things started. She had an odd look in her eyes, though. It could mean trouble. Where is she? She's already out for a night on the town. What do you think, Yafri? Here we are, working hard, and she hasn't even lent us a hand. Talk about self-centered, huh? Did she say anything when she was here? Uh-uh. Not really. Oh, I see. Well, she didn't seem that mad at you for running off. So go ahead and relax. Do you not care where I was? Huh? I came across Silverblade while I was searching the Special Zone. I know you did. But how? We were the only ones there! There was a half-dead member of the coven lying on the ground. That's how. I was watching through his eyes. Oh, right. You shouldn't have approached him alone. Don't ever do that again. If you were watching me, then you know! I had the upper hand against the Silver Blade. If we hadn't been interrupted, I would have beaten him! Why are you insist so hung up on that guy? He didn't look like anything special! Is that jealousy in your voice? Uh. What? You want to take this outside? Bring it on! Ah! Yafari, 
If you had continued your fight, you wouldn't have been able to stand against the Silver Blade for long. Just trust me on this one. You don't know what you're dealing with. What do you know? More than you think. So try to get some rest until the sun comes up, okay? <clears throat> then you can start your day by cleaning up this mess. Whatever. We can't do it. We cannot stay here. Kataro, we're leaving. I'm gonna go say goodbye to Mimi. I'll be right back, so don't worry about me. Did I wake you up? I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. The chief gave me a message for you. He said you could take the day off. I guess you've been serving in a critical capacity. He said your hard work is much appreciated. I don't know what the chief is talking about. Doesn't he know that I failed to accomplish my mission? He didn't mention it. So you shouldn't be upset with yourself about it. Besides, that's just par for the course for you. <laughs> How dare you! Whoops, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. <laughs> Miss Mimiko? Cheer up. There's no reason for you to be sad. Not really. It's all the Silverblade's fault anyway. That darn Silverblade. How could he just dump you like that after you helped him out so much and got him into the special zone? And on top of that, he brings you to a hotel like you're some floozy. You so deserve better. Huh? Oh, but hey, it's okay. You don't have anything to worry about because yesterday I checked the regulations for you. If a compromiser allows a black blood to drink her blood, she will be severely punished. But it's okay if she's assaulted against her will. Wait, Hibari, what are you talking about? What exactly did the chief tell you anyway? He didn't tell me anything, but I can sense it. So today to help you relax, I'm going to take you to the seventh yard and we're gonna party. Oh, but before we take off, I think you should maybe go to the hospital. You little freak! Huh? Nothing like that happened! If I ever hear you say it did, you will regret it! You understand me? No way. Seriously? Nothing? You seem so disappointed. Well, when the chief talked to me earlier, he seemed really concerned about you. He wanted me to come and make sure you were okay. He said, Mimiko's at the hotel and she's really depressed, so go cheer her up. And when I heard that, I just assumed. Assumed what? Oh, uh, it's nothing. Then I guess I had it all wrong about the Silver Blade. Maybe he's not so bad after all. That woman must have been telling me the truth. I guess I should have listened. And who is that? Oh, some lady. She's downstairs waiting. Who's there? Oh, you should have waited in the lobby for us. We were just about to leave. I'm sorry. I just got worried when you hadn't come down yet. <sighs> hey, Mimiko. <laughs> Wong, it's you! Where are you, Kataro? And you're just gonna let him go? From what you've told me, it seems like the Special Zone really needs him. And isn't it your job to try and find him? But I... She can't. It's too dangerous. I wasn't asking you, I was asking Mimiko. I want to know how you honestly feel about this. Tell me, are you really okay with the Silver Blade just leaving you? Miss Mimiko? I'll do it. 
I'll try to find Jiro and see if I can talk him out of leaving. But how? How are you going to find him? He could be anywhere and there's no way you can search the special zone by yourself. If the Silver Blade is going after Yafuri, I have an idea of where he might be. Song told me about him. Evidently, as friends in the Eleventh Yard. <laughs> What's the matter? It's just that... Did Song not tell you? The Eleventh Yard is an urban legend here in the Special Zone. It's what? There are only ten official districts on record in the city, so the Eleventh Yard doesn't really exist as far as I know. It doesn't exist? No. After the Hong Kong Crusade, there were stories that some kind of legacy was brought into the Special Zone, which was still under development at the time. And this legacy is said to be hidden in the Eleventh Yard, a district that no one has ever seen. I've never heard that story. Anyway, even without any clues, I'm sure I'll be able to find Jiro. Um, I know someone who's researching the Eleventh Yard. What? Who's that? An information broker's been coming to see me. And he's been asking a lot of questions about it. He comes by every so often, and we exchange information. <sighs> now then, what should I eat? Call the affiliate houses and gather information from them. We need clues to the whereabouts of the Kulon child before it's too late. Damn it, things are moving too slow. And Cassandra is always, always so. I'm looking for my brother. And why have you come here? I don't know where he is. I can't sense his aura, and I'm afraid something may have happened to him. <coughs> you idiot! Why didn't you finish those Kulon off? Because of you, they might spread throughout the city! Please help me. Even the smallest piece of information. I'm begging you, please help me find my brother. Do you realize how dire the situation is at the moment? You really think we have time to concern ourselves with one child? Where are you going? To look for Kataro. How? He's severed your empathetic link, hasn't he? I don't know how, but I will find him, so you can either help me out, or just shut up and keep your people out of my way! You're behaving rashly. Just calm down. Calm down? I can't! Casa could find my little brother at any moment! Damn it! If you're not gonna help me, then stop meddling in the affairs of my bloodline! Get up. Oh, oh. And you call yourself the chosen protector of the Lady Sage. Listen, the special zone has been in grave danger as of late, and I assure you that the enemy is not after you or your kin. You arrived in the special zone only two days ago, but this plan of theirs has been meticulously devised over a long period of time. Then why? Why has Casa come to the special zone? I'm afraid I can't tell you that. At any rate, now that the enemy is aware of your presence here, there is no guarantee that they won't start to cause problems for you and your brother. Go to the park we were at yesterday. I'll send Rinsuke to meet you. He may not be of much help, but he's the only person I can afford to send. At the very least, he knows the special zone better than you do. Thank you. Save it. We really don't have time for that now, so just get out of here. What have you found? We've discovered their hideout. I'll be right there. Everything is falling apart. But in a way, it's coming together. I'm coming with you. Excuse me. You can't, Jiro. Besides, this isn't your problem. Let her handle it. Let me go. 
Why are you so hard-headed? Kasa, you can't let him do this. Alice, please, let go. No, Jiro, I won't let you. Good grief. Move aside and let me handle this, Alice. There, that wasn't so hard now, was it? Now he'll stay out of my way. Alice! Don't let her do this! Shut up, Sub-Lieutenant. It seems that you've forgotten who you're talking to. Now let's go. Kasa! We're leaving, Alice. to get back than I thought. I sure hope Mimi has some food waiting for me. Get a load of this kid. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice vest. Your parents rich? Who are you guys? Us? We're just a bunch of nobodies. <laughs> hey, you got some money, right? How about sharing a little with us? You better do what we say or we'll sell you to some sick pervert who's into little kids like you. <laughs> You're a bunch of bullies! And you won't get away with this! I'm gonna make sure you never hurt anyone again! Right. So what do you guys think? Should we teach him a lesson? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you need a hand? Huh? <gasps> Zelman! <laughs> so we meet again, Kataro. <laughs> That's right. Keep running. So what are you doing here? Um, well, I guess I... <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Zellman! The food was delicious! Just don't forget that I helped you out. And now you owe me one, so you have to help me out when I need it. <laughs> Casa the Black Snake is here. How exciting. You seem really happy about it. <laughs> I missed out on all the best battles back in Hong Kong, so I'm looking forward to this. Uh, listen to me, Mr. Zellman. The Special Zone's in great danger. You really need to start taking this seriously. Don't be so uptight, kid. And besides, who are you to talk anyway? You're the one who ran away from your brother, and now you're just wandering around the city, <sighs> lost. I... I'm not wandering around the city lost. I came to find Mimi so she could help us out. What could she possibly do for you now? I don't know. I thought maybe she could talk some sense into brother for me. Oh, really? Just what makes you think she could do that? Well, I don't know how to put it into words, but I just know she can help. And things can't stay the way they are now. It's all wrong. <laughs> But I don't know, maybe Brother's right. Maybe this is better. Everything's just been so complicated lately, I really don't know what's going on anymore. No, I think you're mistaken. What? You do understand because it's in your blood, Kataro. The blood passed down to you. It contains all the wisdom of your ancestors and it is what makes you a vampire. Listening to the voices of the past can be difficult. But when you've lost your way and find yourself truly alone, then simply silence your mind and heed the flow of your blood. It's the one thing that will never betray you. But the day that you no longer listen to those voices is the day your bloodline will die. You have to trust it. That is the true way of our kind. It is the only way we black blood survive. Thanks very much, Mr. Zellman. Well, I guess I should keep looking for Mimi. I'll help you. Huh? I have something I need to discuss with Mimiko as well. So you'll help me find her? All right! <laughs> we should get started right away. The special zone's in a real mess, and I don't want to leave Mimi out there alone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're pretty strong, aren't you, Mr. Zellman? Yeah, you could say that. I wonder if you're stronger than this Casa person. What do you think? Are you? <laughs> Easily.
Listen, Mimiko, I don't think this is going to work. If we keep this up, our chances of finding the Silver Blade are less than one in a million. But we have to keep looking. We don't have a choice. We can start by hitting all the hotels in town. So innocent. I suppose that's one of the strengths of the Red Bloods. Huh? Nothing. Anyway, can you tell me anything else about the Eleventh Yard? I find it hard to believe that it's really nothing more than an urban legend. And why is that? Did you know that the conception of the Special Zone coincides directly with the beginning of the company, and that the Order Coffin Company is the de facto group calling the shots in the Special Zone? If there really is some sort of Hong Kong legacy here, it would be odd for the company not to know about it. And when people have questions regarding the Eleventh Yard, the company is the first place they go, am I right? I suppose that's true. Just think about it, Mimiko. The company is even keeping secrets from its own employees. You have to ask yourself, what are they not telling you? Please, Miss Wong, let's just calm down for a minute. Why exactly are you so interested in the Eleventh Yard anyway? It's just... Yes? Hi, Hibari. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sorry, can you speak up a little? Alice. Okay, I guess I'll talk to you later, Hibari. I know where he lives now. The information broker. <laughs> What's so funny, Miss Wong? <laughs> what? Amazing! She's exactly the same as she was before! <laughs> uh, what? Oh, it was nothing. I was just remembering something from a long time ago. So, you found him? Yes. Then shall we go? Okay. I'm glad I came. This place truly is interesting. It's that woman just now. Did you know her? You saw her? Only for a moment. But the other woman was wearing a company uniform and definitely looked a lot like Mimiko, right? Yeah. Oh, no! We'll follow them. No! Okay. Was it my imagination? I thought I saw someone I knew really well, but different somehow. We can fight it out here quietly. I sense that there are other vampires here. Are they infected? No. They are not cool on children. Then what's their purpose? I can't tell. Not just yet. Look, darling. Now's just really not a good time for me. If that geezer Zhang finds out, he'll strangle us both, and that'll just be for starters. They don't need you right now. Kane told me you were an expendable asset. <laughs> That's awful! How could they say that about the Star of Criminal Investigations? Oh, talk about killing my motivation. I don't give a damn about your motivation. My brother is out there alone. I can't waste any more time. I beg of you, please help me find him. There's really no reason for you to worry, Jiro. I mean, your little brother is a black blood, after all. It's not as if getting run over by a dump truck will kill him, right? Ah! You idiot! Kasa may already be inside the special zone as we speak! And I'm not gonna leave Kataro out there alone for one minute longer! Please, take this seriously. Oh, don't worry. We'll find Kataro. And there's really no need to get yourself all worked up about it, okay? It's not helping anything. And after all, it's not like the Kulan children are out to get the two of you anyway. Then what are they after? Uh, Kane said the same thing. He said Kasa wasn't after us. Then what is their objective? Why would they risk so much by entering the special zone? Uh, how would I know? Don't lie, you know. Well, yeah... Tell me what they're after! There's something about this place that bothers me. All the special circumstances and Sei's barrier. They've essentially recreated Hong Kong during the Crusade. Um, well, it's just, uh... uh that is... Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 please don't, Jiro, darling! <laughs> what did I do? Attack!
Were they bitten? I doubt it. If they had been, then they would have begun to turn immediately. That was quick! <laughs> Yafuri Chow! Damn! I see. So this is your doing. You found me out. Open fire! So we know at the very least he has the power of the hide hand. <laughs> Where is your older sister? Let's not worry about my sister. You're gonna need all the help you've got if you hope to defeat me. I see you've brought quite a few troops to back you up. Maybe I'll start by taking them out first. What? Listen to me, young man. You were a fool to assume you could fight me on your own. You don't stand a chance. <laughs> we'll see about that. Just leave him to me. Take care of the others. Oh, my goodness, that was terrible. It was Kane, wasn't it? Yeah, he used hypnotic suggestion to gag me. If I ever try to talk, that's what happens. This is your treat, am I right? Look, I'll help you on one condition. And what's that? I want you to go see Mimiko and apologize to her. I left because it was too dangerous for her to be around me. That's all. Well, the way I see it, you do more good for her than bad, and I think she's good for you too. But I'm a vampire. <laughs> this is the special zone. Never underestimate the people who live here. <laughs> Whatever. Shall we go? Where should we start looking? I have no idea. Well, a lot of help you are. <laughs> you know, I am well informed about the inner workings at the company. I'm sure I could dig something up. to fight you, the great Kane Warlock, hero of the Crusade, knight of Ozami Mansion, steely blood of Morgan the Witch's bloodline. My name is Yafari Chow, and I'm a direct descendant of the Kulan King and the younger brother of Cassandra Jill Warlock. Have to admit, your fighting's pretty impressive. Just what I'd expect from an old blood. Oh, really? I assume you consent to this fight. that 
look in your eyes. It means you're seeing me, Yafri Chow, and not just Kasa's little brother. <laughs> when you swing your sword, put your back into it. The young are always quick to neglect the fundamentals. And that makes them quick to lose to a more experienced opponent. Bastard. Look at yourself. You want to teach me how to fight? How pathetic. Could my skills have dulled that much? No. I just let my guard down. Ah! Talk about weak. So this is the best a hero of Hong Kong has to offer? <laughs> you know, Sis said you were stubborn. She was right about that. But at least that made this better than my fight with the Silver Blade. What? Yeah, I went at it with the Silver Blade yesterday, but he was a disappointment. It wasn't even a proper fight. I mean, I just don't understand why my sister is so hung up over a wimp like him. <laughs> now then, what'll it be? I'm sure that as an old blood, you have some enormously inflated sense of pride, and I don't want to put you down while you lay there like a dog. So why don't you try to stand? <laughs> I think I've forgotten something so basic. I won't be able to look Lord Dragon in the eye. What? What's happening to you? What? You wanna know what? Rage, you pathetic child! Rage! King the Blue Wolf! Alright! You're dead! Jiro lays down his life and draws his sword, you can rest assured that not even Lady Kasa would be a match for his immense power. He is indisputably the hero, the source blood killer who saved our world. Hello? Is anyone home? Excuse me. Uh, oh, pardon me for barging in here like this. <laughs> I'm a compromiser with the company and I've come to you at... <gasps> he isn't dead. He's just unconscious. Was it a vampire? No, there are no bite marks. It looks like someone just knocked him out. What? But why would someone knock him out, then not take any of his stuff? What is it? Wait. This is a stockpile of blood! For vampires. They must be selling it. Oh no! Is this all blood? Battery's dead. Use mine. Thanks, Miss Wong. Good. Chief, it's Katsuragi. I'm in the fourth yard right now, and I've discovered an illegal inventory of blood. I need you to send someone over here immediately. Understood. I've got the perfect person right here. I'll send her over now. She needs to see you anyway. Here, she wants to talk to you. Oh. All right. Are you there, Mimiko? It's me, Kelly Wong. <laughs> What's wrong? Mimiko? <laughs> Thank goodness. I was worried that you might get hurt. 
No, I'm fine. And I'm glad to see that you're unharmed as well. Oh, uh, where are my manners? Allow me to properly introduce myself. My name is... Alice, I know. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Jiro Mochizuki. I'm a sub-lieutenant second class in the Navy. <sighs> you... What? You just read my mind, didn't you? But how? How can that happen when I haven't even drank from you? No, stop it! Cut it out! Will you please just get out of my head already? What are you talking about? I've never read anyone's mind before, and I know I'm not reading yours now. But you... you knew my name before I even told you. I just happened to overhear it. A woman named Kasa called you that. Wait, did you say Kasa? That's right. I thought you might know her. The infamous Cassandra Jill Warlock. <clears throat> No, I'm afraid I've never heard that name before. You're lying to me. I'm telling the truth. I don't believe you. Uh, I... I swear I don't know her. You know, deception really isn't your strong suit. <gasps> Why do you insist on doubting me? I just wanted to make sure that you knew. Cassandra is... a vampire. I don't know. Miss Alice, what's wrong? It seems like a lot's been happening in the special zone. I want to help out and repay my debt to you. What's wrong? Hey, why won't you answer me? Mimiko? It's a simple trick, really. I raid. Plus a little ingenuity. Who are you? What do you want with me? Come on, Mimiko. There's no need for you to be so afraid. It's just me. I spent the entire day with you, remember? Kasa. Well now. You know my name. I drug you around without showing you my true identity. And now you've gone and beaten me to the Sorry for deceiving you. I assume that you've heard of me from Jiro. Knowing him, he's done nothing but badmouth me. Always holding a grudge. You wouldn't think it, but he can be so sensitive sometimes. Anyway, welcome, Mimiko, to my secret hideout. Did you not realize that? This is my family's safe house. It's our refuge in the special zone. Allow me to introduce you to my little brother. He's not very energetic right now, but don't let that bother you. He's just away for a bit. Away? He really is an odd one. And he won't be waking up anytime soon. Here, you can doodle on him all you want. It's permanent, of course. What do you want with Jiro? Hmm? That's why you came to me, right? To get to him? Hmm. My, you're a perceptive one. What do I want with Jiro? I wouldn't really say I want something from him. I'd just like to see him again. It's been over ten years, you know. As you so aptly observed, I'm holding you captive because I've planned an elaborate scheme to get under his skin. Imagining the look of rage on his face brings me great pleasure. Of course, that's not the only business I have here today. <laughs> Why doesn't anyone around here answer their phones? All right. What's going on here, Habari? The lines have been overloaded all day long with calls about the Kulan children. Uh, but never mind that. Miss Mimiko went to the 11th yard to search for the silver. Huh? Uh. Now hold on a second. What do you know about the 11th yard? <gasps> going on what's so special about the 11th yard oh <laughs> now that is a good question but unfortunately I'm afraid I can't trust you with the answer and as we all know a good question is meaningless without an answer it's just you and me we spent the entire day together remember <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> yes, that is what I said. You know, you do delight me, Mimiko. Given different circumstances, I think we could be friends. Mind if I charm you once and for all? <gasps> Please don't. All right. But now about this. I'll tell you everything I know, even about the 11th Yard. And in exchange, <laughs> a kiss is all I ask for. <laughs> You're going to turn me into one of your kind? Yep. And then you'll kill me. I must admit that I find myself liking you. Even after what you went through yesterday, you are still determined to find Jiro and help him. Amazing, really. You're a human who will do anything for vampires once you've set your mind to it, and with utter selflessness and no ulterior motives. <sighs> You're able to see the good even in us vampires. You've made all these sacrifices for Jiro. But for 100 years, he survived by drinking the blood of humans. But you, you don't see him that way, do you? <laughs> I can still smell Jiro on your neck. You let him drink from you, didn't you? Do you love Jiro? <laughs> No! Kataro had been kidnapped and I... Forget it. You should know you don't stand a chance. Jiro's taken. Every last drop of his blood belongs to Alice Eve. Alice? The sage? She seems so innocent, but she has always been an exceedingly greedy black blood. The fact that she's unaware of it herself makes it all the more difficult. <laughs> uh. Oh, great. Looks like we have company. No, Kataro, stay away! He'll be fine. He was put under a hypnotic suggestion. You're the Silver Blade, aren't you? Yes, I am. Why did you leave Miss Mimiko behind to fend for herself? Well... I was trying to protect her. She's out there in all that chaos looking for you right now, you know. She's looking for me? And all this time while she's trying to help you, you've been running away from the Kulan children. How selfish and cowardly is that? I just thought it would be best not to involve her in this senseless conflict. But evidently my plan has backfired on me. I've made a grave mistake, and I'm truly sorry for it. The truth is, my younger brother has gone looking for Mimiko, and I must find him immediately. He's the only family I have left. So please, can you tell me where Mimiko is? I'm truly sorry to say this, but the reason I want to find her is to ensure that my younger brother returns to me safely. And until that happens, getting him back is my one and only concern. I know I shouldn't have left Mimiko, and so I'm ashamed to ask, but please tell me where she is. I need... I need to find my brother. Why did you tell me all that stuff? What? You could have just lied to me. You didn't have to mention your brother. You could have told me that you wanted to find her so that you could apologize to her. Oh, actually, now that you mention it, I do owe her an apology. Huh? Okay, I guess this Silver Blade guy isn't so bad for Miss Mimiko after all. Huh? Uh, nothing. I guess I don't have a choice. I'll gladly tell you where you can find Miss Mimiko. I can't thank you enough. Get away from Mimi! You're going to ruin everything! Now get out of here! I put a lot of time and effort into planning all of this out to perfection! And it's just like you to come in and screw up everything! <gasps> It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Zelman Clock. 
Ancient hunter of darkness, child of the fire god, the crimson-eyed butcher, and descendant of warrior Asura's bloodline. As you know, my name is Cassandra Jill Warlock. And with all due respect, I must express my reverence to you, the successor of the fire from the Age of the Gods, but I must also say damn you for interfering! What are you, the famed member of darkness, the wielder of the spiral flames, doing with the sage? Silence, Black Snake! How dare you bring your abominable curse here to tarnish my home! Your kind disgusts me. And just how many of your own kin have you bastards killed in cold blood? I can hardly believe that the Crimson-Eyed Zelman is saying such things. Being as weak and friendless as we are, we're willing to use whatever means necessary to survive. That's amazing! She's a fast one. It's even more powerful than I had heard. Your Eye Ignite attack. And as expected, I am truly no match for your powers. I grow tired of this. Kataro, Compromiser, get down on your knees and pray! Well, it looks like our fight will have to wait till later. You don't really think you can escape me, do you? I met the members of the Coven today. What's that? It really is a shame that they're so trusting. You bitch! I'll be taking my leave, Crimson-Eyed Zelman. Farewell, Mimiko. And you, Kotaro Mochizuki. Thank you so much for all of your help, Mr. Zellman. That was a really close call. This is far from over. Don't thank me yet. It's in the blood. It can't be. Are there more out there? So what do you think? Will you be all right on your own? Yeah, and thank you so much for all your help. It's funny, when I'm with you, I feel different somehow. Let's have ramen together again sometime. Hey! Uh. Hey, Mimi! What's wrong? Why won't you answer? Kasa... You betrayed us. But still, you guarded her ashes all that time. What's going on, sis? It's nothing. Get things started. Immediately. <laughs> Kuran infestation has broken out at Tsukimiya Hospital. The patient showing symptoms are the vampires that the suppression team rescued from the docks. What? The losses here at the hospital are enormous, and secondary contagion cases are already appearing. We need the suppression team there immediately. Where's Chief Zhang now? We're not sure. Find him, and have him sent to me as soon as possible. Yes, sir. How did this happen? I'm in the fourth yard right now, and I've discovered an illegal inventory of blood. That's it. Put out an order right away! Prohibit all vampires in the city from feeding from blood packs! Make it a top priority! Yes, sir! Inform Chief Zhang of the situation! That there are tainted blood packs out there on the market and they could infect the entire population! He needs to find those blood packs and destroy them! Yes, sir! You may enter. Pardon me. 
Mr. Say, I apologize for interrupting your meditation. But Chief Janai asked that you come to the control room. It's very urgent. I know who you are. It's you, isn't it? Walkerman. They used to call you Manwalker for your unique abilities. I am called Zaza now. Dragon King Say, wise man of the East, young one of the four gods. Sovereign ruler of the Knight of Hong Kong in the Special Zone, and divine protector of red and black blood. Direct descendant of the true source chaos. Please forgive me for gaining an audience with you by means of this simple trick, but it is important that I see you. And I am honored to be in your presence once again. So you are the insider? Yes. And it wasn't easy. Dragon King, I assume that you know why we have come here to the Special Zone. Just as I loved Hong Kong, I now love this city with the same intensity. So if you would kindly hand over what we're here for, we'll gladly leave quiet. Silence! <laughs> you presume to claim such a thing as love? Have you forgotten what your bloodline did to Hong Kong? How... how about we strike a deal? I'm listening. <laughs> I've adjusted the concentrations in the blood we've scattered across the city, so the victims will turn in waves. And if our bloodline spreads itself throughout the special zone, the entire world will again be consumed by a devastating vampire hunt just like Hong Kong. Dragon King, where is the 11th yard? If you tell me, I'll reveal the locations of all the contaminated blood packs, and you may be able to avoid this disaster. I would never strike a deal with a Kulan child. You would be willing to sacrifice the Special Zone? The Special Zone will not bow to you. Now leave! Then I shall appeal directly to Your Majesty's benevolence. Earlier today, I hit a bomb in the building. <laughs> How many hundreds of your innocent subordinates will die, I wonder? <laughs> you bastard! Damn it! What's the suppression team doing? I can't even begin to imagine what the total damages will be. The very existence of the Special Zone is in serious danger. The company is here precisely to deal with these situations. It's too late! No matter how hard we try, we can't cover this up. The fact is, the Special Zone is a den of vampires. If that gets out, it'll all be over. The Special Zone will cease to exist. We'll just have to do all we can to keep hiding it from the people, by whatever means necessary. But Chairman! I do sympathize with how you feel, and I still remember the beginning of it all like it happened yesterday. How you arrived with the leaders of the large corporations returning triumphantly to the Special Zone, and it's because of you that the Special Zone exists. This city used to be damn near uninhabitable. And you're the one who's made it as great as it is today. But it's all over. You have to get out now so you can go on to create the next special zone. You must. Please, Chairman. We beg of you. I understand that you're concerned with my safety. And I thank you. But please... Shut up! I'm sorry. It's just that we... No! I've had enough of your disrespect. You want me to get out? Have you forgotten who it is you're talking to? I'm still the chairman of this company! And I will never run away and leave the organization behind! You listen to me good. I was born here, raised here, this is where I belong, and this is where I'll die! If the special zone is going down, I will gladly go down with it, and nothing will change my mind! I don't give a damn how you do it. But put all our resources into damage control and cover this thing up! You men have kept the Special Zone together these past ten years! Demonstrate your strength! We have to do this! Our honor is at stake! Yes, Chairman! We'll do it for you! I'm waiting for a response. Dragon King... Zhang, this man is... He allowed himself to be possessed by someone working for the Kulon children. As a member of the company, he should have been prepared for something like this. It's you, Zhang Leikao. You're the pile killer. So you've heard of me before. That's always a nice feeling. <laughs> What 
What's wrong? Hey. It's nothing. Ugh, this is awful. Hey, are you okay? It's just me, Yafari. Brother. Here. Once you finish drinking that, we'll be meeting up with Sis again. You shouldn't have interfered. Alice, are you hurt? What's the situation? At last count, there were 32 confirmed cases of infection in the city. Where has it hit the hardest? What location? Tsukimiya Hospital, sir. Damn it! If we'd only realized it at the dock. There are confirmed sightings of Kulan children in the third yard. A compromiser has just been injured. There's an unknown number of infected. A death in the ninth yard. We have witnesses. People are panicking. <sighs> the prisoner in the basement has just escaped. What? 
footage incoming. Damn that boy. What is this? He infiltrated the company, but he's been dealt with. Did you hear of the outbreak? Yes, unfortunately. It seems their plan to distribute the tainted blood has been a success. We have no other choice but for you to take the field in opposition to the Kulon children, say. Otherwise, the special zone will fall. You can't mean that. I'm afraid so, which means we must temporarily raise the seal which now protects the special zone. <sighs> this place to you. Quiet the confusion among the people. It can't be. Cain. Lord Dragon. I must end this plague of Kulan children. Go after Kasa and Walkerman for me, understand? Did you say Walkerman? Then the one who freed Joffrey must have been... It was him. Allow them to escape and they will be the seed of future trouble. Stamp them out now. We'll move heaven and earth to do so. Listen closely. The Dragon King of the East himself has gone to return peace to the Special Zone. As of now, you are to pour all of your efforts into regulating information. I will take the offensive as well. Dragon King of the East. <laughs> In the end, he's a black blood, same as the rest of us. That's the spirit. <laughs> How do you like the boat, Yaffery? Bro, it's you! Where's Sis at? She hasn't come yet. The Dragon King's on the move tonight. And I'm afraid we're quickly running out of time. <laughs> Yaffery! Incoming! <laughs> are made of, Yaffery!
Thank you. You really saved us. My work is finished here. I'll leave the rest to you. Stop it! What the hell are you doing? I'm so sorry. I can't help myself anymore! <laughs> really? There's such a pain in the ass. so much, Mimi. <laughs> Everyone's trying so hard to save it. They're giving everything they've got in order to help the city live on. It must be a wonderful city if everyone's willing to lay down their lives to protect it. That's why you wanted us to live here too, isn't it? Mimi, I want to thank you. You invited us to live in a really great place. We're lucky to have you. So, can I ask a favor of you, Mimi? What is it? It's about my brother. Will you try talking to him one more time for me? Yeah. But he won't listen. Well, I know that my brother can be really stubborn sometimes. But I'm asking you anyway, because I believe deep in my heart that you might be the only person who could convince him to save the city. You think so? I want to live here in the special zone for a while. After all, that's why we came here in the first place. Oh, really? I always meant to ask, but surely there's more to it. Uh, no, that's it. You're <laughs> hiding something, aren't you? Please, Kataro, if there's another reason why you guys are here, I need to know. Okay? Just tell me. Don't tell brother, okay? I won't. He brought me here so that I could make some new friends. Just to make friends? Yeah, I've been in the sanctuary all my life. And Grand Duke Bow Wow was my only friend when I was living in there. I guess it's because everyone else who lived there was so much older than me. Oh, I see. Huh. Brother was afraid I couldn't be happy there. So we decided we should leave for the outside world. He said I had a lot to learn about things outside the sanctuary, and that I'd make human and vampire friends along the way. So I guess you're my first friend, Mimi. You consider us friends, don't you? <sighs> yeah, I consider you a friend. <laughs> All right, no promises, but I'll talk to him, and we'll see what happens. Where have you been? I thought I'd lost you. Kataro. Honestly, sometimes you're just so... Brother... Are you okay? Mm-hmm. What about Kasa? The black-haired woman, did she do anything to hurt you? She didn't even touch me. Mr. Zellman scared her away. Zellman did? That's good. I'm just so glad to see that you're all right. I'm sorry if I scared you, brother. I wanted to see Mimi again. I know. It's my fault for not taking your feelings into consideration. But please, don't ever run off on me like that again. Promise me that you won't, Kataro. I won't, okay? 
promise. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's good to see you, Jira. Mimiko, listen. I'm sorry for trying to leave, but it was for your own good. I'm afraid if you continue to associate with us, it'll only cause you more suffering. Especially now that Kasa is in the special zone. There's no telling what she might do. Hmm. What? What's the matter? She sure was a strange person. She's very dangerous and can't be trusted. But under different circumstances, I'd like to talk to her more. <laughs> Mimiko! She's known as Kasa the Black Snake for a reason. Just stay far away from her. I noticed she was very interested in you, by the way. I'm sure she was. Before she became a Kulan child, she was very close to the sage and me. Makes sense. Well, then why was she so interested in Kataro? <laughs> that damn snake. Why can't she just leave the two of us alone? She didn't seem particularly hateful or resentful. Maybe she's not out to get you. I don't know what Kasa's true intentions are for Kataro and me. And I haven't for quite some time. In Hong Kong, she betrayed me in the vilest way imaginable. But she saved Kataro. Wait, she saved Kataro? Can't this thing go any faster? He's catching up with us! She's maxed out at top speed! Damn! Glad to see you! It's a good thing she's here. The fight has only just begun. Let's take it easy. <laughs> Jiro, you're making a mistake. What? Running away is a mistake. Having met her, I understand. If you run, Kasa will pursue you wherever you go. That's the kind of person she is. Surely by now you know that. Please, Jiro, you and Kataro can live with me here in the special zone. I'm afraid that I've already made up my mind. And I'm telling you, I think leaving is a mistake. You'll just never understand, will you? The world doesn't work the way you think it does. Not everything is so easy and simple. Oh, is that right? <laughs> what exactly were you doing all day today, Jiro? Because you sure weren't there to help Kataro when he was in danger earlier. Zelman saved him. <laughs> Hey, Mimi, listen. When I asked for your help, this isn't exactly what I had in mind. You're wasting your time trying to provoke me like this. Protect her, my ass! Uh, you try to do everything yourself, and by doing so, you're putting Kataro in danger for no reason. In the end, you're only looking out for yourself. How dare you talk to me that way? You're just a pathetic human who's barely been alive for 20 years. And you think you can admonish an old blood? What about you? You've lived a hundred years, and what have you made of yourself? What do you have to show for your heroism? Who do you think you are? Listen! <laughs> Kataro has been kept safe up till now. But it's not because of you. Everyone in the special zone has tried to help. You'll never be alone here, because we all look out for one another. That's how the people here have decided to lead their lives. Understand? How formidable Kasa is. How dangerous the Kulan children are. Everyone knows about all that. That's why they're banding together now and fighting for all they're worth. Because they know they don't stand a chance alone. But if we all fight together, we can protect what's important. We can't do it without you. We need you. So please, for Kataro's sake, join forces with those already fighting. Only then will you be able to defeat Kasa. Only then will you become a great river that can stand fast against the most powerful of forces. So that... Someday, someday that, that river, river will lead you to the ocean. But 
Mimiko, how in the world did you know that? Smartest move using your body as a shield. You're still far too erratic. Silver Blade, my boy. not for sale. You see, I'm giving him to my granddaughter for her birthday. I'm afraid I can't sell him to you. <gasps> oh, no. It's okay, Alice. Please don't get too upset. You don't have to tell me that. Then can I ask you to pass a message along to your granddaughter? Sure. Tell her to take good care of him. Okay? I'll tell her that. Thanks very much. <laughs> Alice. <laughs> what? Oh, it's nothing.
Yeah. Hey, Mimiko. Hi, Jiro. It's time. You should finish this. Kataro, forgive me. I was trying to keep you out of harm's way, but it appears now I have no choice but to... Don't worry. I understand, brother. Now get him! Jiro, I have seen your resolve. I will clear the way for you. Now go! Thank you, Sei. Mimiko. I need to tell you why Kataro and I came here to the Special Zone. Oh, actually I already... I brought Kataro here so he might make new friends. I don't want him to be lonely when I'm not around anymore. The vampire that turned me was Alice Eve, the sage. She was a source blood. And she was one of the most ancient among the Black Bloods. A source blood? But she did not attempt to create any of her own kinsmen. With one exception, me. I am the only one she has ever shared her blood with. As her protector, it is my duty to keep both her body and her blood safe. Alice! She was killed in Hong Kong, but then reborn in the form of a child. Kataro is that child. He is her reincarnation. What? Then name yourself. I am the child of the sage, Jiro Mochizuki. So that's what you're calling yourself. Fine then. Here goes, Jiro! <laughs> Kataro, does he know about this? In her reincarnated state, she is powerless. She is alive, but without a sense of herself or her memories. When her reincarnated form is mature enough, I will return her blood to her. That is my responsibility as her protector. And afterwards I will live on through her. That's why it's called the bloodline that transcends death. But... then someday Jiro will... I live so that I may be consumed by her. to show up and ruin everything! Uh, Wait a minute, Zaza. Don't tell me you're the one who caused this! I guess you could say I stirred up the hornet's nest, but it was what Sis wanted after all. You... you can be such an idiot sometimes! Fighting amongst uh, yourselves? Damn!
This is what it means to be a vampire. It is our destiny to sacrifice anything and everything for the sake of our bloodline. Should just about do it. I can't believe that they actually made it through that. That's some pretty impressive driving. Damn, Selman. This has nothing to do with you. Looks like Sis is on the defensive. That's what she gets for being picky. What? She hasn't drank any blood. Not for the last three months. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> <laughs> Get up, Casa. <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? But for my bloodline, surrendering is not a choice. Why? Because it would mean the complete eradication of our people. And that is why we will continue battling to the bitter end. And that is the way of the Kulan child! Well then, at the very least you can fall beneath my sword. Cut out the hero talk, and let's just fight! <laughs> Such incredible pain. Jiro. Brother! As expected, when it comes to the sword, you have a slight edge. With this, it will be finished. <sighs> it's about time. You bear an unfortunate weakness. The border. Once we pass through there, we'll be outside the barrier. Seems that's it for today. You'll see me again. If you survive, of course. Casa! <laughs> Again, or you'll regret it. <laughs> well, we'll see.
what rent was like here in the special zone so he said that's just for now he did yep <gasps> we're trying to find a place but it might take some time so we'll have to stay with you for a little while longer Mimi brother wanted to make a good impression by paying in advance <laughs> oh no why are you crying what's wrong <laughs> Mimi, is it not enough for rent? Hey! Hey, Mimi! What's the matter? Ah, Master Swordsman. I cannot thank you enough. Shoko! Uh, hey, now! We haven't seen each other in ten years! No way to treat an old friend! Uh, 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 Rinsuke uh, told me everything. Uh, uh, you're... Just awful! Now tell me if it's true. Mimiko's apartment wasn't bombed by August Weicker, now was it? The bomb was placed at your command. It's... it's true. You better have a damn good reason. I wanted you to stay together. You and Mimiko need to be a team. What? That's just absurd! Right or wrong, it was to make sure you would remain in the special zone. There's an empty building the company once used as a warehouse. It's really old, but it's more than big enough for three people to live in. You had this plan from the start, didn't you? Yeah, that's right. But why would you go to such lengths just to... <coughs> What's in the 11th yard? Ashes. But it can't be! I'm afraid so. The ashes were brought here from Hong Kong. The special zone is a burial ground. The eleventh yard holds the ashes of the Kulan King. Kasa and her people came here to retrieve the King's ashes. They wanted to resurrect him. <gasps> you defeated the Kulan King once before, Jiro. So we need you to be here if he comes back again. I... I can't do that. There won't be a miracle this time. I'm sorry, but you're the only chance we've got. So, the Lord Dragon and Cain were attempting to alienate me because... That's right. They were trying to free you of that burden. Jiro, if you're staying in the Special Zone, I want you to work for us. You want me to guard the King's Ashes? No, to protect Mimiko Katsuragi. Mimiko? But why her? You have to understand. For a human, ten years is not a short amount of time. I'm afraid I'm no longer capable of fighting alongside you. Protect her for me, along with the Lord Sage. 
Please, Jiro. I will. You don't have to push yourself so hard just to help out. No, no, I need to help. We are going to be imposing on you after all. Oh, God. Let's get you inside. Talk about lucky. We sure found a great new place. So close, too. I guess good things do happen every once in a while. <clears throat> Damn you, Shogo. What? Nothing. I've been meaning to talk to you. I need... A favor. Listen, you can't tell Kataro what you know. Kataro is that child. He is her reincarnation. Once you've returned the blood to Kataro, then what's gonna happen? I'll probably be completely consumed by her. Please don't be sad about it. It's my fate, and I'm very proud to carry on the life of my source blood. Yeah, but... <laughs> I found something awesome! <laughs> Where did you get that thing, Kataro? Found him upstairs. Can I keep him? I promise I'll always take really good care of him. Well, all the stuff here belongs to the company. Aww. But... I doubt anyone will really miss it. <laughs> awesome! And from now on, you're gonna be known as my best friend, Lord Bow Wow! <laughs> you're gonna be spending all your time with me! <laughs> <laughs> yes, Katsuragi here. Yeah? I understand. We'll head over there right away. Jiro! Kataro! Let's get to work! Oh, does it have to be in the middle of the day? Oh, quit your complaining. You're my closer, aren't you? <laughs> I suppose so. Now, let's kick some ass! Yeah! <sighs> Come on, this is our first gig, so try to look sharp. Okay, fine. <laughs> It'll be alright. We'll figure something out, Jiro. I'm sure of it. Right! <laughs> you have oh, to come walk on. so fast. <laughs> 